Yeah. Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Um, yo, this is Savage as Fuck. It's the radio slash podcast slash strip show that we yes. do every week. You got to check us on Dash Radio. My name is Shang. This is Black Pedro. Black Pedro in yeah. the building. Yeah. In the building. And we got a great show for you. We got some young guns in the game that's doing comedy. We're going to talk about a lot of issues. And again, I want to thank everybody that has downloaded the podcast through iTunes and, and Stiffer. Or what's this? Stiffer. That's the porn one. Stiffer. Yeah, that's Stiffer. The, <laughs> Stiffer that's, is the yeah, one where. That's sponsored by Viagra. Yeah, that's uh, the. No, yeah, it's about, it's uh, called uh, Stiffler. Stiffer. <laughs> um, yo, it's that Stitcher. show. Stitcher, yeah, all the podcasts. Make sure you go to iTunes and download Savage as Fuck. Tell your friends to download Savage as Fuck. And if you don't download Savage as Fuck, I hope you get herpes on the tip of your penis. Damn. I, yeah, but exactly. Just, just on the tip. Just the tip. I hope the tip and it closes up your pee hole and you pee back up and you blow your ass out with piss. I'm on one today because I got a lot of shit going on. Listen. Today's show is going to be therapy and, and cathartic. It's going to be therapy and lethargic. Yeah. I just made that up. Lacardic. But yo, make sure you download us on Dash like Radio. Download the app on Dash. Go to the app store and download it. If you do not download it, Be I outside. hope that you get kicked down the flight of steps. I hope you I stub mean, you your could toe. use the web browser too. Yeah, you could use the web browser. Does, you can listen to it. www.dash.com. On www.dash.com. No, dashradio.com. Oh, I, dash I, I thought I was. Shit. I really had faith in you. Damn, I was I was so Did you close. fuck it up? Dashradio.com right, well, backslash dash comedy. Yeah, yeah, but there you, you know what? The, the people that are already listening already know what the fuck it is. Yeah. And if people ain't listening, go to Dash Radio and go to Dash Comedy and listen to us Wednesdays. 7 to 9 p.m. That's specific ta- Pacific standard time. time. That's specific PST. standard time. And uh, and all you uh, all you other people that don't listen, you are bitches. <laughs> I fuck can't. your feelings. Yeah, with fuck little your feelings. Sense, fuck your feelings. Sensitive feelings. Hey man, with your so, sensitive bitch so ass feelings. We, ha- we have our usual um, feminine presence, our queen of the room. See we'll Boogie in the building. We got Miss Miss Twinkie, Miss Cassie Dang, Miss doing Cassie thing. Dang, Cassie how, Dang. How you doing? How you doing, Cassie? You good? I'm doing well, thank you. You yeah. good? Yeah. Dang, yeah. dang, doing dang. Her voice is always I'm so calm. I'm on one today. I'm not normally is like it? this, man. No. I'm just. I yeah. believe I'm calming in general. No, I you're think not you are. calm. No, you're not. No, I didn't say calming. she's calm. I said she's her voice. Calming. Her she, voice I, is calm. We beat up. We beat up two homeless people the no, other no, day. No, she's everybody else was calm. Extremely violent. I mean, how did you beat him up for not listening to the show? Yeah, because he's homeless. How dare you? That's how we get listeners. Be intimidation. That's, intimidation. That's also maybe how you get herpes. You must find both. You go. That's herpes it. is. Hey, you know what? Herpes. You know what? Sometimes we put women like ribbed, and yeah. I think that <laughs> ribbed for her herpes, pleasure. Herpes it makes me ribbed for her pleasure. That's exactly. it. That's it right there. So, uh, and then, yo, and, and we, then we also got in the building. Well, you know what? You do the intro, and I'm gonna do the intro. Do we just go from there? You that's, go. It, that's it. If anybody's listening today, I am not high. I did not drink. <laughs> I'm just in a very uh, loose and uh, 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 festive mood. If you're listening, Black Pedro is high and, it, and yes, drunk. Pe- Pedro both. definitely doing, definitely gets high. I'm doing both. Pedro took me out and Pedro was teaching me about alcohol. So I was, like, I was trying. It's spirits. Yeah, spirits. <laughs> I don't. Shane, Shane didn't because, even. Uh, I, I, I don't drink. This and motherfucker was, drank ginger ale, but uh, I but I got I got I got I got pretty I got pretty lit on the ginger ale though. Yeah, I think I it was, was the, killing it. The effervescence really. Uh, yeah, got the, you yeah. out there, bro. As soon as I got that like ginger, a ginger ale, ale or like a ginger no beer. ginger no ginger ale. No, you not know even a beer, just not the a ale. beer, just the ale. <laughs> and all I know is that all I know, I read after that, I got lit. You know what I'm saying? And these these hoes was on me. They ain't loyal though. They ain't loyal though. They know, why does that? That's the wildest shit that the song has been so popular that these hoes ain't loyal to the point where women are like, "You right, these hoes ain't loyal." I know one hoe ain't. That but ain't some men, some men are hoes, so it yeah. goes both ways. Uh, no, men, no, men aren't hoes. That, we're we're I mean, conquerors. I feel like, I feel like we're all hoes till we ain't. No, well, <laughs> no, I'm I'm so not a hoe. Speaking of speaking of uh, the third and new voice here on our show, we and, we have a wonderful guest today. Uh, this man has been in my living room. Uh, we have passed Paul on the left hand side. What a guan uh, warrior. But very, 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 very funny comedian. Uh, works these stages all over the place. Uh, give it up for Mr. Ramon Rivas, guys. Ramon wow. Rivas. Yeah. Yeah. Ramon. Ramon, Ramon said, yeah, I'm coming in. Yo, you got to let them know about your social media. That's what we like to start off with because everybody is in. Pub it. Pub it. Pub okay, it. Pub cool. it. Uh, my, Cut it up. My 
Twitter and Instagram is Blazer Ramon. Uh, there you go. Because I wear a lot of sport coats. He is a uh, sporty gent. And mm. that's also my website. That's your website, too? Yeah. That's so you excellent. You can find all my videos. Excellent. And that was a great that intro, stuff. but I'm going to give it a little bit more. Oh, <laughs> you don't have to. He's from Cleveland. He's you can from check Cleveland. Him out on Netflix, right? Yeah. No, no. Oh, uh, Comedy Central. Comedy Central. Sorry, my bad. Comedy like Central. the app, but you have, I don't know. Just so, sometimes it's not Hulu most of the time. He could have said more than that. Yeah, that was your opportunity. Yeah, that's you. She's not done. She's not done. And I got somebody else and going. And you can check out his comedy festival in Cleveland. His comedy, you got a comedy festival in Cleveland. Yeah, do a, uh, What's it called? I just did Cleveland comedy fest. I, I just did, did the, the improv. The improv. Oh, yeah, that shit I was, was there a couple fire. Weeks. I was hosting a couple weeks before that. When I, I was home for like a month, so I hosted like two weeks. Yo, improv. man, I want to go back. To, well, I'm going back to Cleveland to do the improv, but I want to come yeah. back. I want to do. The, I'll do the festival. Accidental I, comedy. Fest, fest, yes. Accidental yeah. comedy. When, did, when does that go down? Comedians, I know. When does he's that one go of down? The sh- you're one of the strongest comedians she knows. Not physically, not or, physically, or emotionally. Wow. Like emotionally, man, not, weak not on emo- stage, yeah, yeah, yeah. motherfucking just, just beast. Writing, writing structure and delivery. Yeah. Right. <laughs> writing structure and delivery, but he can't pull no truck with his balls. Nah, because nah. I've done that before. I, mean, I, that can, I, I, I think I could. I think I could pull a short bus if I had like the proper. Like Motivation, footwear, yeah, footwear. Yeah, yeah. like if Thanos was behind you, you'd yeah. have to, yeah, yeah, that would make sense. Or like, uh, just, yeah. Why do you love Thanos so much? I like Thanos because he's like, fuck that. Uh, everybody got to go. Evil. I mean, no. he's not evil. No, he's, 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 he's just a half. Would you be a super villain? I would. Right now, I'd absolutely be a super villain. Yeah. Right now, and Trump would get a visit. I'm, I'm telling you right what now. What is what is your pivot point from being a hero to a villain? Uh, the world needs. It's all about perspective. The world, the world needs bad heroes. I got you. Okay. All right. I mean, I'm not like you know, not like Will Smith <laughs> did shot type J- of thing. John like Wick three. Yeah, it's John Wick. They need somebody that, if, if that embraces the darkness, and at the same time makes light. That was very poetic for you motherfuckers that got a little confused. <laughs> Smoke a blunt, and it will be clear to you. Listen, we also have in the building. Uh, we're doing a show. Uh, we're going to be doing a show, but Jeff. You got to jump in there and let everybody know about it. Mr. Jeff, Jeff Uria. 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 I go, Uria. you watch what? Uria. Hey, it's better than Uriah. <laughs> Me and Uriah. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Goodbye. Wait, I don't think we have his mic. Yeah, his mic's on. He's on. No, 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 he's not. No, he's not. Oh, oh wow. No. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, it's not in my Censorship. Ears. Yeah. No, uh, let them okay. know what the deal is. Give them guys, your social uh, media. My name is Jeff Urea. I know I have a weird last name. It's, it's uh, U R R E A. Yeah, it's, it's technically it's pronounced Urea. Urea. But it's called uh, Urea. Okay. Yeah. Can't all be Black Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have a lot of Latin names. On here. Latin mm-hmm. names. Well, We're hey. taking already show. Man. You know, it's going to be a good show. Why are we doing the stereotypical voice? What no. is that? Why don't you do the... Well, that yeah. actually makes a lot of people not think I'm Hispanic because wow. I sound like a nap instead of... Right, yeah, but you're Like not, a what? A nap? A nap, yeah. What's a nap? What's a nap? Like I just like... You, you sound oh, like I oh, just oh, woke got up. You. Oh, yeah, yeah. like you yeah. just like woke up from a nap. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, um, did you tell instead them your of, social media? I was like, you sound yeah, like... Sorry, uh, at Jeff Urea, uh, just one of the weird, uh, nice things about having a unique last name is just at Jeff Urea for everything. Yeah. There you go. U-R-R-E-A. Now we're gonna talk about some crazy shit today. That the well, one, the world is full is full of crazy people, and we got to make sure you preface it that there's a lot of crazy motherfuckers out there that have craziness in their heart. Um, <laughs> right check heart. this out. We've had another shooting. No, I'm not. Fuck that. I ain't following just that. Y'all gonna have to lead me into the shit. I'm telling you, we had another shooting where apparently a disgruntled white child decided that I needed to go to school and I don't like chalkboards and decided to start killing people. And they still don't. And the government. And still acting like well I, the thing that pissed me off about the shit is why is it if a black kid or a brown kid shoots up a bunch of places or which doesn't happen hardly ever at all but if they are they're animals and they're criminals and this but this kid fucking psycho babble bullshit no, pig it's feet, even worse fuck they, they call are. him mentally ill he's Wait. mentally ill he no, no he's mentally ill but then why why are, are, are there, uh, the one random black kid that might shoot Never shoots it's up not, a whole it's bunch not, of people. It's not even. It's always their animals. Black and Fuck bra- black and brown kids yeah. get called animals when they get shot. <laughs> you yeah, know what black, I mean? Like I th- it's, it's even worse than that. Like they can get shot and then they'll start painting them for, as reasons why they should have. They Trevor shot. Martin was called a thug. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah, skittles wrong, in his pocket. But I think that it's more worse of a stigma to have have poor mental health than to be an animal. Not at all. In for some. 
No, the general consent. Has it, no, no. Is because if you have mental health, or at least you're still looked at as a human being. Right. When you're not you like an yeah, animal. In some they're ways, taking you from way you You don't hear about a lot of cases of black people with men that had done things because they had mental health. Well, that's issues, because but they people, people, of color, people of color don't really subscribe to right. therapy. That's what I mean. It's like, is well, it is more of a generation? Like they don't like have access to it either. In poor communities, you know, sometimes. Not only that, and if anybody should be crazy and be shooting motherfuckers in at a clip, it should be black and brown people. All the bullshit shit that they give building walls and goddamn go back to your country you're, you're speaking spanish you should uh, ice shows up at your house and i have says no doubt that spanish. all those people have mental health issues but no i, I mean think i feel like a lot, a lot of it is they people just, just not it. like i feel like we're a whole generation of people who aren't trained to just handle or process your emotions right so they shoot people uh, to a no, point because because look at it like the the thing i saw recently is the kid who shot up to school like a girl reje kept rejecting him and mm -hmm. then embarrassed him right. in class and so he went and shot up her and crazy. that means he got he so got like bitch like, like qualities yeah so it's like you aren't, you aren't you aren't getting crazy. trained how to like just move on okay with, with, but what yeah, about the guy that girl. went and shot up all the people in the church while they were kneeling forgiving him yeah, those yeah. Are that was because he hated mm -hmm. niggas and that's what and i'm so sick of it yeah. i'm so sick of apologizing for these crazy motherfuckers yeah no i ain't apologizing and plus check this out they're gonna give him life in prison but this other kid that shot two people and i'm talking about two people and he was fucked up he was a black kid he's fucked up and he's crazy for shooting him but guess what he's getting the death penalty immediately yeah i mean there's the dude, in, the dude in here. harlem who the dude the crazy dude street dude in harlem who had a piece of a shower uh rod yeah, in his yeah, hand right. and got shot like he that's a dude that the neighborhood was just cool like oh you just they crazy know him, yeah but it's the it's, cops don't People who are uncomfortable, who don't know how to handle, like, oh, there's a crazy man down the street just, like, walking around. Like, right. it's just a weird disconnect from each other. Yeah. Right. But but this, this shooting in Texas right now, that, like, for the people that don't know, look at the news. Um, it happened again. And there's a lot of shootings happening on Trump's watch. I mean, if you look at it in a short period of time, apparently there's a lot of people to feel like, you know, the country's being taken away from them. We're going to take it back. Goddamn, we're going to take it back with guns. And I just came up here to make America great again. One dude showed up at the shooting and said what a uh, Magna yeah. hat and said, mm -hmm. I'm here to just make America great again. Get the fuck out of no, here. Not just with the oh, Magna yeah. hat, with a sidearm. Yeah. With a sidearm. He showed up to a school shooting with, with a, a side fucking sidearm. Exactly. Why didn't the cops pop him? They popped a little kid that was 12 years old, and they had a toy gun, and they gave him 13 seconds before they blew a fucking hole through his chest. Nah, so uh, from now on, a, I'm, you know what, I'm going to become a cop and just start shooting motherfuckers. Apparently, uh, Seattle, I think it was, I saw this piece on Vice, uh, has you know kind of a, a, a similar problem with, with their native population, where they make up like 1% of the, the population statewide, but 3% uh, of the, the prisons there or whatever. So, yeah. Um, th th there was this clip and, and this cop actually got fired and I, I believe he's being prosecuted I'm not sure but like so there's a native guy he's walking down the street and like carving in a piece of wood but turns out he's he's like deaf in one ear so when the cop sees him and, and he walks past the dash cam just crossing the street but in carving you know wood with a piece of, with a knife or whatever uh, the cop must have said like two words like hey hey put the knife down hey bang 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 and shot him like four times dog. that's what like, I'm sick of I'm sick of it. They're I'm not, sick of the double they're not trained to deal with they're mental not trained health to issues. Deal with, yeah, because they're not because trained to de-escalate. If you're a cop and you're doing shit like that, you're a bitch, and you should be selling yogurt or pudding because you're soft. Oh, you know it was on. It was on. Have you guys? It, you know what it was on? Cop, you, bitch, soft. You know what I saw cop. it on? You know what I saw it on was a uh, Wyatt Cenac show. Have you guys? Oh yeah, it yeah, 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 yeah. Problem yeah, areas on HBO. Yeah. I don't have HBO. Oh, you don't have it HBO. Does. Steal no. that shit, Ramon. You don't have to I have, have it. To have well, it. I used to have it, but the person who whose password I had access to stopped oh, they, paying their they bill. They broke up with their girl. Yeah, they broke up with you. Oh, I can't really. I can't really. I thought you were on my HBO. One of the fallouts of divorce. Don't work no more, yo. But you were on my. Wow, yeah. the you fact that y'all are actually bill. talking about that, like, like, why didn't you keep paying your bill? I paid my bill. I just had to change the password. Oh, wow. No, I got the password. Just, just stop having HBO. No, though. I changed you the password. You get your shit together. Well, I'm sorry that I'm on a disruptive. Well, what's the fucking we password? From, we went from a mass school yeah, shooting to, uh, hey, where's my HBO password? password? Yeah, no, that was the segue. That's more uh, important. You know what? Hey. What? <laughs> to, to, to shed light on this, uh, the, the other day, this man, uh, this old, crazy old man with mental issues, took his car, drove into a restaurant, yeah, killed his daughter killed his and his daughter-in-law. Daughter now, there's all these Magna people, all these Trump supporters that are going on Facebook going, uh, he all took, uh, 
Like, why don't you, why are you guys going to start betting cars now? Yeah, there you go. It's like, you know what? That's a terrible example for you fucking gun nuts because to have a car, you have to go through a lot of process to keep the car. You have to have, you have to be tested. You have to have an insurance. Right. You have, you have to do all the steps to have a car versus I can do nothing to buy an AR-15. All you have to have to get a gun is a face. That's yeah, like and if and even a yeah. half a face. Let me tell you something. And a gun I, kills several people. Uh, several people. This just kid like hit a building. It's yeah. Worse. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's just. I think right now with the mass shootings, the government's going to be pressured. And if they don't step up, man, I'm telling you, the young people are going like buck wild. They're not like they're not taking it. They're like, look, we're going to be able to vote soon. This fall, I don't know, bro. I, don't I think know. I think the Republicans that, are, that NRA is a powerful lobby, man. The NRA, hey, and by the way, uh, the NRA, I, I'm gonna say that. I hope y'all listen. You can suck my dick. It's it's so wild <laughs> that over the radio. The NRA, over the radio, the NRA holds so much sway, and they give like the the money, the amount of money they the give amount. is like mm -hmm. less than what J.R. Smith gets paid per year to play basketball. Of course, of course. So you guys it's like we could just like we. I don't know. Like it's just like weird. Like, do we have to pay? Do we have to lobby y'all to just be human? Do you know how many no. people are in the, in the no, NRA? We in our system. Do you know how many yes, people actually do. make up the NRA? Yeah. Like, what is it? Like corporations it's, it's have way more than six, million. No, no, it's literally under like. I I, I saw the stats. The, the actual memberships itself is is under an actual million. It's like five hundred thousand people. Or yeah. So they run the world. carrying members of the NRA. Yeah, I bet you they have some blackmail going on. I thought you said they had some black males. No, black yeah, male. I'm like, they, they have probably black males. Oh, they yeah. probably got a few black males. They definitely have black male. Yeah, there's definitely there's, one black male. It's not just money, it's blackmailing. Uh, yeah, but no, I mean, I, I know. It's just, uh, it's it's been happening in the news. I want everybody out there that if you really are about listening to the show and you go, oh man, I listen to Savage as fuck and they was talking about this, make sure that when it's time to vote, if you really are against all the bullshit pertaining to them not Going in there and changing some of the laws like a, a hundred round clip. What the fuck do you need a hundred round clip for? I mean, and, and they're saying for hunting. What the fuck are you hunting <laughs> with a hundred round clip other than Velociraptors? Yeah, what man. the fuck are you hunting? So when it's time to vote, go out there and vote. And also, I'm going to make sure I got to re keep reminding this because some people were like, I don't know what it is. What he It's Savage AF, okay? Make sure you go to the Facebook and go to our page, Savage AF, yeah. and like it. Make sure you like the hit page. Like, hit hit like. like and like the page and follow and all that other stuff. And we'll also have updates on the page to let you know who's going to be on the show when it's going to be on and for the podcast and you can go where you can go and listen to it and, and oh and facebook live and facebook live yes live. but make you sure you so share many, so many ways to watch or not watch right yes, yes. so <laughs> exactly. share share it Choose one. with all your friends if you got a friend that you know that would like this type of shit share it god damn it if you don't share it i swear to god I, we're, oh, we're outside right now we out we outside your house right now i'm tapping on your stops. window with my kick my, my dick right now so uh so speaking of voting, right? Uh, we vote. There you go. See, good segue. Hey, Bam. right there. Uh, watch out. We <laughs> All do, day. We, we do get into some uh, primary action, uh, which sounds like some yeah. kind of foreplay. But <laughs> <laughs> primary uh, action. We get yeah. 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 Oh. You see that? <laughs> Part four. If, if you like it hot and wet, primary <laughs> action. But yeah, uh, primary elections are coming up uh, this Tuesday, and um, I came across an interesting story. This uh, Stacy versus Stacy, which is kind of hot. Which, <laughs> but really, kinda, it sounded kind of. That sounds like another hot, one. Yeah. Sounds like and, another and one. Stacy versus Stacy and baby oil. Because that's, <laughs> you got to have baby Sorry. oil when you say Stacy versus Stacy. But, um, so in Georgia, great state of Georgia, blessed by. <laughs> heaven you ever been to Georgia? Himself. Have you well, ever been to Georgia? Georgia? Uh, I've been Atlanta counts. Atlanta, Atlanta counts. does yeah, count. Yeah, I've been yeah, to Atlanta. Ca so capital I love, I love capital Atlanta. of the Confederacy, yeah. baby. Yeah, Atlanta. Um, so right now they're on the Democrat, you know, they're on a, uh, they're in their preliminary elections or whatever, preliminary run. And they have two uh, ladies running against each other on the Democratic side. It's uh, Stacey, Stacey Abrams and Stacey Evans, right? And one's black. Stacey, Stacey Abrams is black. Stacey, Stacey Evans is white. Uh, and they're set to have a uh, showdown, a physical fight. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> a physical fight. No, Hopefully a titty will pop out. But that's the plan. But it is kind of highlighting uh, kind of, I think, the stress that's on the Democratic Party right now to make a shift and overtake the GOP, right? And and these two ladies, I think, are emblematic of the sort of st strategic clash that the Democratic Party is, is kind of facing right now. Right. In terms of like, well, how are do they we, both Democrats? How do we get this? Well, yeah, it's, it's the preliminary. So it's the primary. So they're like, 
you know, they're, well, I'm hoping they're trying I, to find just, they're I trying want, to find the Democratic. I hope one candidate. of the I hope Stacy versus Stacy. I hope one of the Stacys win. I hope the Democrats beat the Republicans. And I don't give a fuck. I said it. Here, if you're a Republican, you don't like what the fuck I'm saying. Here, I don't give thing. a shit. Here's but, the thing. Uh, um, that's how I feel. Stacy Abrams, the black candidate. Um, she, if, if she won this, it would put her one step closer to being the, the very first African American female governor in U.S. history. Um, not that that is important for policy necessarily, but you but know, no. But if she does, she win. could be a stamp one day. That could yeah, be a motherfucking stamp. Or if, if she wins, I'm a, I'm gonna play the bongos butt naked <laughs> on the plane as I'm going to Atlanta. But strategy wise, let me. She, I hope let she me, loses. Let me, <laughs> <laughs> no man, as it's fuck. gonna happen, dude. But let me ask you guys, what do you think? Like, so Stacey Abrams, the black candidate, she wants to dig deeper into like the rural areas and pull out those untapped minority votes because she feels they've been ignored by the Democratic Party right. for eons now. Um, Stacey Evans, uh, you know, wants to reach out to the minority vote like the Democratic Party usually does, but she really wants to go after the the sort of um, moderate Republicans and, and, and try and pull them to the other side for that. Well, I think that Stacey Evans has a problem because a lot of the, the moderate Republicans <laughs> are still with Trump. And if you can't deny... The bullshit from this motherfucker with all the lies and all the shit now it is gonna very it's very hard to get them out of that mindset i say they go after the the black and white rural uh vote and try to sway them because i'm telling you right now the republicans are like they're like zombies man they're like automatrons they're just not they're not seeing reality to me at all i just they just don't they, they're just like tribal so i i just feel like and people you before would say well look at their side give them a chance and yeah, see what they feel i'm like man after the, some of the shit i've heard i could give a fuck what you feel I, in fact you know what i'm saying and yeah, and you can holler at me a, live it's hard to take a rational position against an irrational set stance of, yeah set of facts or set of uh mindsets like it's just very um you know, but I, I always catch myself because I, I I feel like we all have that vague um, oppressive white like white people are oppressive to us, and it's not like not every single white person, right. but it's like in general, non specifically, no. there's a, a a blanket of it, a white haze. Over yeah, there. and I try to uh, a white and, haze, uh, and and it's and there's a an in hashtag a, white haze. There's an inherent amount of ignorance and lack of understanding within that. So I try to. I try to not have that same mindset when I go into rooms with white people and be like, oh, I don't want to have that same like. Mm. I don't walk in. No, I don't. I, because I actually have a selective. I can actually select, you know, between who's an asshole and who's not. Yeah. But I'm saying, no, I don't have a collective that all white people are fucked up. I'm saying there is a portion of white people yeah. that are extremely fucked up and they know they're fucked up. Just like there's a portion of black people and Latino that are fucked up. Mm -hmm. But the white people that are fucked up are actually fucking up everybody else. The portion, the GOP, the people that can control and shit, that's cutting off funding and shit. The one dude for the EPA is like, yeah, man, fuck all these trees and <laughs> mm -hmm. plants and that oxygen we need. Yeah. Global warming's a hoax. Yeah, exactly. Global warming. It's cold is right now. It's, it's May it's, and I'm cold. It's cold, exactly. It's <laughs> bullshit. So I'm talking about those portion of white people. I don't walk into it when I'm doing a comedy club and see some white people go, oh, here we go with their white oppression. I don't even look at it that way. I don't mm -hmm. even wake up think like that. But you got to admit, they're, even in our industry as comics, there are white producers and, and people who pick a specific amount of white comics that are fucking garbage. That you're horrible. You're funny as throat cancer and an <laughs> infant. You're horrible and you know you're horrible, but they still get the shot. So I, that part of it, I, I like even them. I, I, well, I'm liberal. No, you're not. Because you're not. You, you're given a pass just like black people who are horrible. Mm -hmm. And we give them a pass. I don't do that. Like, if you're a black person, you're horrible. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. You say you black, horrible you person. Black, horrible give ass. Give me that pass. If you're not talented and you're black and they try to say, well, but, but brother, but we brother. But fuck out of here, man. The fuck out of here, man. If you ain't, if you are not capable. And that's what I don't like about. the. And also, this is the other thing why I've talked about the shooting. The reason I'm mad at white cops that try to act like we're about the law and that they know they're white cop brother or whatever they want to call them that you know the blue badge behind the blue wall and all that other bullshit if you know they're doing wrong and you don't tell on them and you don't check them then you're part of the problem mm -hmm. period call if, them out 
if you don't call him out at all, like, well, I know he shot that kid in the head, but you know, come well, on. If you don't think they're doing wrong, also, bad day. if you don't think they're doing wrong, then you're not going to feel any obligation to speak out. <laughs> exactly, because you're part of the same. Exactly. Well, I think it's, I've, I've, I think I've seen something where some of them are so much in the minority that. If, the, yeah, they're, that it would be detrimental to them or even dangerous. Well, yeah, no, that's that. then. Then don't be a cop. Then I know. But then it would just be all but clans. Then, yeah, but then it'd be all <laughs> yeah. white it would guys. Just like, be you clans. You need those couple. Well, to then stick fight around. them. Fight them. Just like you want to fight us. Fight them. But sometimes mm. just sticking around and outliving them is better than outliving them. Live to fight another yeah, day. Yeah, like because the thing is, they're gonna the shitty ones are gonna get rolled at some point. They're gonna fuck up one day. No, no, not mm. not if it's like the you captains know, and the you, judges and all. Do that. you guys know the suicide rate of cops? No. It's ridiculously high. Really? really? They take themselves out more than anyone else. Lawyers too, though. Wow. <laughs> I'm in a very... I'm surrounded... And comedians. We, we get, all right, we, well, we know who the depressed person is in the room today. <laughs> I thought it was Shang when we first came. No, I'm not depressed. <laughs> I'm never depressed. I'm de- no, I, I get I get depressed, but um, right now I'm just more like outraged. You go to so therapy? My, my, uh, He's so shame. I have, I have gone to therapy. and uh, I, Yeah, man. I love therapy. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys know... Uh, I go weekly. But do you know uh, the, the training requirements for police officers to have mental uh, health training oh, while yeah. they go out there? You just have to get it cleared, Five right? days. Five days what? Five days. Five what? days. That's, That's all the training they have for yeah, mental people, health. People uh, at Subway uh, Sandwich have that. to train longer than cops do. <laughs> you, mm-hmm. before, to make I mean, yeah, a, a before they long. trust you around a slicer, hell yeah. It's yeah. Like before they to trust become you. a licensed psychologist, it takes like six years at least. Yeah, but I mean, five days for a cop. Five days. And I think for the fries. training. If you're like running the fries, ain't it like at least two days, three days at McDonald's? I mean, yeah. peeling the potatoes alone is. A- yeah, that right there. That right there. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> but you might have a knife and they you might guys, think you're carving you guys a potato. Ever seen a, <laughs> you guys ever seen Observe and Report? Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's one of my favorite scenes is when. Uh, he just comes up. <laughs> well, yeah, Seth Rogen is like telling the, the psychiatrist about his, uh, his vision. Of why you know why he wants to be a cop, <laughs> and how he just you know pulls out a shotgun and blows all the evil away, <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> and she's like, "Oh, that's interesting." Fail, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's probably how most of, some of those exams go, though, right? It's mm-hmm. like those guys are like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna go in there and clean it all up, Let's clean up the neighborhood, well, bring yeah. justice." Yeah. I mean, I I don't like if I was a cop. I probably would be, yeah, you'd, I'd be in danger because I would, if there was a dirty cop, I'd absolutely tell on him immediately. Fuck him. <laughs> like immediately. Serpico. Like, as soon as you did some some dirty Serpico. shit, yeah. or you said, well, yeah, I had to shoot that kid. No, you fucking didn't. In fact, I would shoot him. But you said earlier that you might, you, 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 we need dark heroes. So would that you, would be, would I'd you be, be a dark a, hero. Would you be a vigilant? But I'd shoot the cop. You shoot the cop. I'd be a cop that shoots other cops. Oh, but you, I'd you'd be have the to cop be the, killer. The, the, cop Dex, cop. the Dexter cop of cop. cops, Dexter PD. Yes, <laughs> I would. I would. Okay, I, I like mean, that. that could only last so long. I, well, I just have to. I just have no, to. You'd have to knock him out. You'd have to knock him out all at like one day. I'd have to. Yeah, I'd have to shoot a lot of cops in one day. You'd be. You'd be. But you'd have to be like the the genius detective who. Is, is, is constantly looking for himself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they, Are they, you turning they put this into you, a script? They, yeah, they put, yeah. You, they put you on the mission to Punch find you. He and found you himself. Like, <laughs> you know? I would absolutely. I would, yeah, I'd be a dark hero, though. Like, okay. I like, like, if you look at, okay, if you look like at Batman. Dark Knight. You'd be like Commissioner ba- Gordon. Batman, Batman. It, yeah. I, no, I wouldn't be like Commissioner Gordon. I would definitely want to, you know, who are you? Oh, I'm Batman. I don't care. <laughs> I would. I would definitely. Um, I would be shooting a lot of cops. And I don't want people to think I'm anti-cop. I'm anti-bad cop. Right. Mm. Yeah. It's like you're anti-bad comedian. I'm anti. Well, <laughs> what I'm saying, no, comedian-wise, I mean, it, people have. You could one person. You could say I love this person, and I think they're, they're not funny. Like people love. There's people that love Tony. What's it? Heathcliff. Hinchcliff. Hinchcliff. They love him, but there's other people that go. I'd rather take a, a, a knitting needle and yeah. stick it up my he's, pee he's hole. He's a preference. He's, he's a right. preference. But I'm saying, so I know that. I know people that probably watch me and go, I'd rather have my my teeth shaved down with a file no, uh, than no watch me. you do jokes. Who would do that job? But I mean, somebody, no somebody, me. no, I've seen, I've seen some people that will do that to you. So I, I just feel like, what? yeah, no, I'm serious. I know, I know a dude named. Have you seen people with named, tiny teeth? Huh? <laughs> see, anytime you see people with tiny teeth, guess what's up? They, they did some wrong shit. Some fi- they somebody filed. But no, no, they'd is rather it? do that than listen to Shane. Yeah, then listen to me. <laughs> then listen to me. I know that. So I, I can't say it. Comedy's a preference. I get it. But shooting a kid, 
and and you know, there's no preference. There's not no, a preference. That, that's that. a preference for some. It's people a preference, too. but They're it's a it's, it's a fucked up preference. It also comes back to to training. Um, I saw this this video the other day. This this elderly black woman called. She had to call the cops on her son, who's mentally uh, yeah disabled and and has. A, Mental Vi- issues. Violent tendencies. She told the police officers on the phone. She told this, the, the dispatcher, "Please send out a professional. My son is schizophrenic, and he. I don't want there to be a, uh, an issue." Sure enough, cops go out there. Didn't send a specialist. Guess who got shot? The mother. The grandma. The son. No, the son got of shot. Son got shot. He did, yeah. well, of course he got within, shot. Um, within two, three minutes of, of him being <laughs> there, he got shot and yeah. killed. And the sad thing is, the mother had to call the cops on the son because he became a threat to himself. The, the whole mental, uh, our, our, our whole. Uh, a mental, the way we uh, treat mental yeah, health, yeah, yeah. Okay. health is, is broken. Have you ever what, been uh, mental? Have you ever felt mental? By the way, Jeff, what I'm, was what was the demographic of that individual or that family? Oh, it's black. Yeah, okay. Because you, yeah. you hear all the story. Like, there's a ton of stories too of you know white people have mental problems too, but they you don't get dealt hear. With. Yeah, but they, they go to they, they're put on prescription drugs. I, the sense uh, the even, even when the, even even when the cops show up, like I've seen clips of white dudes with with a gun raising it up, raising or with he's, a knife, try, or a knife, and they're trying to get shot, and the cops won't do it. The cops will be like, "Hey, man, ease down, bro." Hey, bro. Trevor, Trevor, <laughs> put exactly. down the knife. Put down the Trevor. knife. Trevor. You know what needs to be shot is the, is a, uh, I'm just going to bring it back to this, this other topic, is the fucking Democrats. If they can't, if they can't flip this house in this, in this day and age, you know what I mean? Like. But they're not as crafty. Dude. We're gonna we're gonna keep losing. It just depends. They're if not they as crafty. We're, we're, we're gonna keep. Evil, we're, we're gonna keep losing. If they pay Hillary, then they're they're not on our side. I, I'm well. Wait, no, I, I'm not even talking about presidential. Uh, I mean, in this midterm session, uh, like, we're gonna like we're, Senate seats, governor. We're gonna seats. keep losing. If you guys no. didn't know this about me, I was actually vice chair of the Ventura County Democratic Party before. Nice. I what? 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 Yeah. So I was. I got pretty involved. <laughs> Trump. Trump got me involved. I wanted to get involved and help my. I got sober. I wanted to help my community and stuff. Right. I got involved. And the more it's good invo- you got sober first. Yeah. yeah the, the more. Yeah. The more I got involved. I'm here, I'm here to help my community. <laughs> yeah. I'm here to get and free yeah. and, and, and I want to vote, and, but I got to pee. Yeah. I got to pee right uh, now. The, the more I got involved, the more I saw that there's a new movement now. Uh, there's this new wave of progressives versus the old school Democrats. Right. So these new millennials are coming in. They want to. They want to run everything their, their way. Yeah. There's no. There's no uh, bending point. There's no compromise. And you either part of the old establishment or get out of the way for the new wave. And so we're going to keep losing because we are so in fighting right now. Yeah. Republicans, they might not admit that they hate Trump. Some of them secretly do. I'm sure. But that's their guy. Yeah, they 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 they, yeah, they, 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 they are loyal to the to the fault to their party. I think the progressives are gonna come around. They're gonna come around. They're not gonna. They can't. They, if they Bernie or bust, oh, dude. No, it's not gonna be. I I got in a fight with some pro Bernie people when I was in Philly. I went to the. I performed at the Democratic convention. I know. I'm telling you. And they were like, if I don't like Bernie, they wanted to fight me. I'm like, listen, old lady, I will fuck you up. <laughs> You ain't got a chance in hell to beat me. And then she Shane did. She, she kicked my ass, though. This, <laughs> this old white lady can fight. I didn't see Gertrude. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's uh, quick with them hands. She, huh? Gertrude got it in. Uh, I, the damn Hillary? Yeah, yeah. No, she, 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 I, she faded me. She, she, she faked to the left and got me with a right. I'm like, oh, shit. And when I went down, I'm like, okay, okay, I'll vote for Bernie. She said, you fucking right, bitch. Yeah. And she walked off, and I heard that John Cena music. <laughs> dan, 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 dan. And the, the scary thing is, right now, the Democrats, we don't have any, like, we have good leadership but there's no star there's, well, there's, no, there's ev- a couple stars there's a couple there's stars like, coming up like yeah but coming up but we need something right we need someone right now to be the voice of the party we don't really have we have keith uh ellis and the party the party fucked up last election and you know i think they got exposed for being biased to hillary and that 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 pisses it like it makes total sense that you know progressives were acting the way they were when you were working with the but Democratic not anymore party. No, I not, mean, not no, anymore. no, because now. because they, they're they're obviously they're gonna be pissed. Like that's part of the your your progressive platform is that you're looking for you know transparency and 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 fairness and and, 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 and they got none of that from the, from the nudity. old guard. So they they they're done with that. They 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 they're, of course they want to wash wash the old guard out. I, you know, I'm and I'm not saying it's the best strategy. I understand it's 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 bringing in but fighting. That's but. because they. Dave Chappelle had this great bit the other day at the comedy store. He said that fairness is a child's uh, thought process. Yeah, I watched him when he did that. Yeah, right? It's it's a child's notion. And these progressives, they want everyone to be fair. Well, the world isn't fair. The world's fucked up. Sometimes you got to see 
what we got to do to either win or have the lesser of two evils. If you're a progressive and you voted for Jill Stein or whoever the fucking Gary Johnson yeah. dumbass motherfucker mm -hmm. was, our, our, don't our, complain about Trump. Yeah, just if you voted for Because you knew they weren't going to win. A dude named Bill. Just that they, they don't care. I, that's why progressives, See, when they start talking that shit, I I go, get, man, don't make me pull out but, a skillet. But, okay, but hit you I, in the head with a skillet. I get, I get caught in, uh, in the middle here because... Like, I, I was diehard Bernie, voted for Hillary, but really didn't want to, right? And then you then you see the result, um, and I'm like, like, like we, we do need some, we, we need a push for more than just Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican. And it's our no. right, it's our, no, no, it's nah, our I'm right, it's, it's our right as citizens to push for that. But if we keep getting into this lesser of two evils bullshit, then there I will think, never be a f yeah, another but, fair choice. Well, see, what wasn't what wasn't fair to Hillary is, mm -hmm. oh well, she's the lesser of two evils. But that's like comparing Sauron to to Gollum. Yeah, they're, both, <laughs> they're both bad, right? Both really but bad. one can fuck shit up permanently. <laughs> they just make it so hard to vote. Like I just think like you should vote and then get your income tax return back. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. make it like a requirement to yeah. do some shit. If, because if, right now if, it's just so optional. Like, I was moving from Ohio to out here, so it just I just lost track of things. I didn't even vote for president last time, and that's one of the worst feelings I'll have for the rest of my life. Right. But it was just super inconvenient for me to figure well, out how in, to do right. it. In yeah, California, it's super easy now. By the way, guys, if you're listening on this right now and you're in California, you can go online and register to vote. Yeah, you can. Super easy. What's yeah. the website? I think you have until the 26th. Yes, yeah. until Saturday yeah. um, to do it online, but you can do it. You can do it in person uh, up until the day of the election. So, um, well, I, have, I, I believe I if, I read, okay. if I read right, if you guys are like us and just don't, can't figure it out, then I, I get a mail-in ballot. Well, that's yes, but it, you, you, can, you can register online for your mail-in ballot. Mail ballot. Yeah, and uh, depending on the county, depends on if they'll let you do it. Well, all right. Enough of this uh, talk yeah. about politics. What about these bitches? <laughs> I'm sorry. That was that was so ghetto. Transitions. And, and yeah, transitions. Uh, no, that was that was wrong. I apologize. I, I just you're right. I might be a, a little uh, under the under the mental weather. <laughs> yeah. and so say, so mental don't give weather. me a shotgun because I know who I know who's getting it right away. And they name. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go into that. Um, but I'm gonna tell you right now. I think that right. I'm gonna definitely vote. And I think there are stars. There are definitely stars that are out there. I just, I'm, I watch this hit constantly. There's stars. It's just that they're they're pushing them for president. Wait, you watch C-SPAN? I watch all that <laughs> that's, shit. That's where you see those stars. Cory right? Booker, man. I watch Corey CNN. Booker. I like Cory Booker. Listen, yeah. listen, I like I Cory Booker, them. too. I like Kamala Harris. Yeah, but Harris here's the thing with those guys. They're, they're per diem, like what they spend on the road tra traveling doing these gigs they're staying at the four seasons they're staying at these fancy hotels right and they're supposed to be sticking up for for middle class people yeah uh, but that's, oh, the, that's, like, that's, that's nothing the that's thing with kamala, everyone but okay. they're like i mean kamala harris racked up a huge tab I, know, on okay, last I understand you're on your city council or whatever <laughs> but <laughs> the thing is politics is i mean i'm the worst lawyer because even as a lawyer i didn't care about the politics but I, we learn it we know yeah. common law you know i know everything about it and all the biggest thing I know is that it's all a facade. Yeah, and it's all about money. You literally don't know all the information at any given point. It's, it's all about money. I mean that too. But, the information but you doesn't know all the information. You see right. The inform exactly. It's a. It's like a web of like secrets that the smartest people have manipulated. So like, if I don't have the time to put into this figuring out why people have made certain deals and why this company organization is still going and why they right. this amount is 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 enough for to keep this going or whatnot it's like there's probably many many reasons and connections of why we don't understand why it's going but on. the thing is now we i mean we do the sad thing is we do we know that Russia colluded with Trump's campaign. But you're looking at too big picture. To, I mean, I'm talking about the very detailed stuff. There's things, there's a reason why this one senator won't vote for that. There's a reason why this one senator won't vote for that. There's, and they have like, it's like House of Cards. Yeah. Like you see how he has to manipulate every single relationship. Yeah. There are people doing that. And it's like, who, how am I going to know whose daughter fucked whatever, da, 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 and they have to cover that up? You know, like, I don't care. Well, the daughter, it was me. I know. It was the daughter who- That's it why I don't care. It was me. Yeah, the person that the daughter bum, fucked bum, it was me. Bum. I, uh- so you're a, causing was, our history. I'm, cause, I'm fucking up everything. I'm, our country's I'm, pitfalls I'm, yeah, is I'm, because of Shang's Yeah, it's dick. totally my fault. It's totally my dick's fault. I mean, mm -hmm. come on. Your dick has caused a lot of havoc in the world. I'm a bit. A bit. Come on, tell the truth. <laughs> it's on a like bit. a small scale. Okay, I'm saying, like, fracking. <laughs> tell the truth. Fracking. It's that's your fault. It, it's funny. Like, my hometown of Lorraine, Ohio, like, we got steel mill, and it's, like, been up and down since, like, the 90s. 
but like they're pretty much all but shuttered but they're opening back up and the only thing that they still make the steel that they use in america for is for fracking so wow. if if my hometown experiences any sort of resurgence through that steel mill, it's because, it's because we're f- fucking the planet somewhere, <laughs> yeah, uh, fracking it up. Which is you know, <laughs> that that's pretty much like why all the EPA shit's happening. It's like, well, if we get rid of these regulations, mm-hmm. then we can, we can fucking get everything. this quick money. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. quick money. It's not sustainable money. It's quick. Money. I think I, I'm starting to lean towards just. I'm gonna start doing real evil shit. So y'all might as well know I'm gonna be a proper villain soon. Cause <laughs> trying to be like the cool, like, yeah, let's be righteous in the world. It's, it's like, a good man, thing you ain't got no the money. evil people, man. Yeah. You weren't far from that turn. Yeah, that's true. But it, <laughs> it didn't take much to edge me over. But now I can v give for a fuck. vendetta. I used to be like, you know, women's rights and the world and the sun. I'm now like, you know what? Give a fuck, man. I'm getting. I'm about to get this money. If I got bust somebody in the head, no, I'm kidding. Mm. See, <laughs> now you put me on there, and then now people think Shane flipped out again. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I know. I, I, I am getting a little. I am starting to feel like, like you said, what kind of uh, hero would I be? I'd be a fucking villain. Mm-hmm. That is. A, I mean, right now it just seems like you need. Who else gonna stop these people? Somebody nice and righteous. No, no, exactly. I think we co- need somebody. They coat themselves in nice righteousness. Right. I need. Mm-hmm. I think you need somebody with a samurai sword. That can heal after you shoot them yeah. and stab That's them it. through the ass. That's all. That's all I want. I want to be the Deadpool. They got they got yeah. missiles though. You're gonna need something bigger than yeah. A, okay, well, maybe you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The world the world so, is not the world is a beautiful place, but I'm just saying it's weird. Yeah, it's weird right. I now. mean, it's so interesting to like see like how dangerous the like the KKK has been for decades, right? But during the 60s and shit when black panthers were coming up they were viewed as uh, enemies of the state yeah. and co intel pro and they literally went through and strategically killed all the black leadership of course they've yeah. done nothing of the sort to like white nationalist leadership well they can't they can't because it's they are them they, yeah. Yeah. Like, exactly. like, that like, would be i'm not killing, I'm not yeah. killing my nephew the panthers the panthers nephew. were enemies of the state the kkk is the state yeah. right right or and they're I mean, an arm they're almost like an uh, the like invisible arm of the state yeah yeah, I you mean, know, it's the, the heart almost, this is not real. even an, not even appendage to a certain degree. I mean, the the FBI already did a study. They sh- they, they showed that the the KKK neo Nazis. I was even thinking about the term that they're rampant in police departments, right? But I was even thinking about the term neo Nazi. Like, what's so neo about it? It's really just the term location. You know, not, <laughs> I know. No, no, but it's they're just it's just it's just the, it's just the time. It's the time and location, but it's not the yeah. the Nazi. Ideology has not changed. It's not they, they changed, are, and, then and it's a fact, bold, it's a bold term to me to, to to be like we're just we're just gonna redo this thing, right? That they but did see, in Germany. I think what they did was they thought if we take a really popular R and B artist <laughs> and we <Neo>. add <laughs> his name to it, then we'll get people that go. You know what? It's not so bad. <laughs> And I'm I am tired of love songs. I see what you did. I see what you, you see did. what you see. What I added this with the neo. Cassie the doesn't fuck. get it. See, he the did neo, 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 neo Nazi. The artist, the R&B artist. Fucking hashtag neo Nazi. I get it. Um, no, I, I I see what you're saying, but they they try to make white nationalists. They try to make everything new. Like it's we're not we're not racist. We're white nationalists. The fuck out of here, man. That means you want a yeah, exactly. white nation. It's, <laughs> it's 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 funny if you watch like Gangs of New York. Yeah. yeah, it's it's white it's, na- it's white nationalists like Bill the Butcher, yep. and then the immigrant group at that point, which was still white people, but yeah. it was like the yeah. Irish Protestant Just somebody to pick on. But and the, the, and the Irish, how that's, Irish people that's were the pl- niggas back then. That, yeah, and that's played out with that. Like that's when it was just pure white on white and mm-hmm. then it seeped into oh we don't even have that commonality okay cool i can keep you at an arm's distance right it's it's you know uh, what this show has gotten way this what today's show was a little get, heavy it's gonna get light no we get in the we, second it, half because it gets the, light. yeah but the first half no, no, people topic. people people like man i was what listening to it they're very they seem very in tune with what's going on in the world but what about fart jokes <laughs> Do a fart joke. I don't think people are tuning in for the fart jokes, man. If yeah, they they are. Speaking of not tuning in, did you guys, anybody watch the wedding? The royal wedding? Oh, my. Oh, God. And now okay, I so watched part of the wedding. This is- and it was, it was festive and mm. it was nice, but I thought it was a little bit over the top. 
<laughs> a bit excessive it was. I was. I mean, there's parts of it where people start doing flips and there's fireworks. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, it's yeah. just. But you know what? When they added the black element, yeah. that's what. They, and and there were so many people mad about the fact. Oh, there's gonna be a half black royal. Get the fuck out of here. That chick is fine. All right. I bet, I, you, I bet you she got the cure for cancer in I her pussy. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's I, how fine she is. I, I wanted to talk about this, too, but in just just like as a devil's advocate, because I have to say, and I know I'm going to alienate. A sh- my, 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 my timeline, my feeds on social media were just, I didn't realize how many women I knew who would really be into this shit. Oh, I mean, I these motherfuckers it. were I'm up so- at 4 a.m. Yes. I'm like, bitch, where, did, got- you, where did you get crumpets from, nigga? <laughs> I got up at 4 a.m. on Friday Where the fuck did you accident. get a crumpet? And they got tea and everything, right? And I'm like, this is amazing. Uh, so I know I'm going to alienate some of them when I say, fuck royalty. Like, I, can, I cannot <sighs> even stand the concept of, and I don't give a fuck if it's African, British, Arab, right, whatever, fucking island shit. But you get them. British Moa, is a Moa. little bit, little, British is a little bit worse because that's very snooty. Well, they, they, they went imperialistic. They went imperial, and, like they had to go out and, and put the crown everywhere. I get that, but, but there, the there's something about just yeah, the royal mentality. A lot of them think they are decreed by God to to, to be better than us. Yeah, they're, they're I mean, I, I understand that, but also like we're in a culture where we have turned people like the Kardashians, no, no doubt, and, Van and, into royals. and like all the reality shows. No yes, you're right. Bat, the Bachelor, like all this shit, like we people tune into that. Like, well, it's, no, yeah, uh, that's and, America's and royalty. Not, yeah, that's America's yeah. royalty. I mean, no, it could have been worse, Pedro. It could have been Khloe Kardashian getting married. There's no more qualifications for them to be. <laughs> like the center of attention than these British people. I my, mean, my other beef, my other beef is. But I like, I like her. Is, is, I love them. No, I ma- like the ma- princess. I, 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 nothing against them personally. I like her. And Meghan Markle is, is stepping tall, amazingly gorgeous. Right. I'll admit, I, I have no idea who she was until this thing. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know anything about her. Right? Pedro's on no deal. No, yeah. no, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hating at all. What I'm, what I'm saying is that I don't like royals. At either. no, at no time prior to. Um, her engagement and now marriage into the royal family. Did I hear anybody black talking about Meghan Markle as this symbol of black success? You know what I mean? Like because they she give not, a fuck. And then as soon as she got engaged to some royalty, every sister on the planet that I know was like, "You gone, girl? Go get it. She your queen?" Like they were. They, they were. I mean. They are celebrating like 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 the OJ prize like back they in the day. Yeah, like like, like we like we got it. <laughs> like like did, like your like, ratchet go ass. Go girl, get it. it you lucky. One. Go. She got. And I'm like, listen. If it wasn't for this royal engagement, she, she, Meghan Markle to most black women that I know would be the light skinned chick at the club that thinks she cute. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, this bitch thinks she cute. You think you, know you better like, than I, me? I, 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 and I, I gotta be so I, real about yeah, this because I I, I, it bothered the shit out of me that I don't know. Everybody just jumped on her wagon like. She she has that because look you know why they that, jumped that on it. Black people hate like yes. niggas like, in the hood. Like yeah, I'm, I'm light like, skin. I know high yellow motherfuckers like that. I'm, I'm I've I've been there. I'm telling you, Shane. But, yeah, I'm just saying. I, but the, the, the difference with like me you, is you, you, yellow uh, mother- you motherfuckers. I can fight. So <laughs> it's a little different with me. Marcos ain't gonna go on you. And, it, it, uh, it, and I'll you know, go I'm, I'm speaking in broad strokes, right? No, I agree they're, with they're you. I just think, hood, but, but you know why black people do that? Even when anybody black wins, even if they're fucking horrible, if the Migos become like the biggest stars, because we're so thirsty for anything famous, anything that will make us feel like we're worth it. And that's why we do it. Even with comedy, I know a lot of black comics would jump through hoops and tap dance while they juggle in watermelons just so they can get on the Nerdist. Cause right. they fucking please accept us instead of just accepting yourself and be like roll walk in your own power. So right. when I see black women do that, they're like, well, at least one of us got out the hood, and it's just <laughs> I, and it irritates that's the fuck good. out of she me. She didn't grow up in the hood. It, did she? It, she didn't even grow up in the hood. They, they irritate me. So Cassie, should, not, not, no, now that I no. now that I shit all over the royal wedding. Oh, that's the, okay. the Give wedding. us the lovely perspective. How was it? What did oh, you think of it? What did, what did you like it? Did, the, did, did the you birds like talk? it? Did they swing? Did the bluebirds sing and talk? No, well, I didn't actually like stay up for the whole time. <laughs> 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 <She's> like, <laughs> oh, no. see, keep it real. She's, she's, I didn't she's really joy at 420. She's yeah. like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I love joint. the royal family. I love the queen. Why do you, why do you like I love Harry. 
Why do you like I don't know. The queen, did you yeah, see the queen's so, reaction they, during yeah. during the? Her reaction was like, "Ugh, uh, niggers." Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah, but, uh, they absolutely uh, represent niggers. imperialism, though. Yeah. Like it, it, in every every, every aspect of their existence. No, you guys just spent two hundred million like, dollars on the wedding. The government. They're not the royal family. No, of the no, no, government, no, 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 no. The royal family of a church. I, I get that, but Im- imperialism isn't even necessarily about running a government as much as historic. And I'm talking about historically. Yeah. So now they're not they're not part of parliament, but. All of that wealth, all of that opulence, everything that that uh, that is all from the raping of so many other continents, countries, yeah, exactly. Like exactly. that, that where did that Pedro. come from? Like so, where did that come from? Right. So I think like, where, do you, where do you get see, su- where do you get a you, summer palace? Yeah, exactly. How do you seasonalize your palaces? Mm. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not you know saying, saying? that. Well, I, I think that in the the monarchy itself is like obviously outdated and an old it's all tradition the reason i love it is because of the tradition but what comes what comes with tradition is also the history <laughs> of rape it, pillage which yeah, yeah. all that above all so why above. do you like it because of love, the dresses I, the dresses no, 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 i don't love i don't Lace love them pretty. because they're royal i, I love the royal family i don't love I don't that like they have them. crowns and that they have prestige in these palaces if you watched if i you, like who they did are did you watch the okay. footage of the people in the audience looking like oh disgusting now we're gonna all be wakanda <laughs> Oh, this is bullshit. Well, and and, I, and I, like I'm saying, this is not a personal knock. I obviously know nobody who's royal at all. But, I know a couple royal, people. but but it looks yeah. like it looks like uh, Harry and and what's the William? They, they both seem like cool dudes. Mm-hmm. I know a dude named guys. Curtis Royal. <laughs> <laughs> he used to help me with my uh, oil change. I know Crown Royal. What's up, Curtis? Well, but... Shout out, nigga. Well, I I think but, that I like I I think the Queen has. Has the done queen. a lot of oh, things, she's a fucking... but I think that Diana is the reason why the boys Di- are yeah. cool. Because Diana she got, because she died in a car accident, they made her more famous than she should have been. Well, everyone no, loved no, her. She, she was a national she, treasure. She, she seemed time. to be a, a, a sweetheart too. Like, you she know was what I mean? like, the Celine Dion of royalty. Yeah, that. and uh, I, 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 I think she, she, she didn't like, even. She was the first one to to like shake hands with all of the HIV positive black. Wow. homeless people. I like, can't quite remember, but did she, was she even she, part oh, of a, a nice royal person. lineage? Was she a nice person? No, no she yeah, wasn't. Yeah, she married in. Yeah, that's like what I'm saying. That's family. why the queen hated her. Family. The queen yeah. hated her. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because she was, well, you know, because she was from the hood. As she was far a real chick. Yeah. Yeah. And because Charles, yeah. and because they didn't love each other. Yeah. No. I, I wouldn't want my son to marry someone that I knew he didn't love either. Okay, well, that's a reason, right? I still didn't like the yeah. wedding. As someone who was supposed to get that. married this last year, I gotta say I'm really glad I didn't spend uh, twenty two hundred and thirty three million. What? How much did they spend on the wedding? Like it was like yeah. something like two hundred. How, how much was her dress? I don't know. Two hundred and fifty motherfucking really? thousand dollars, dog. Oh, that's, that's why I don't like that's not that bad. I will fight you outside, not, Cassie. I mean, Dang. We are going royal, to break, and when we come back, we will not have an engineer. Royal that's royal five people. That's five people's salaries. Oh, yeah, but do you know what? Years these, years did you see the Met Gala? Year. Did you guys see the Met Gala where I, I, everybody I, I, was yeah. wearing crowns and fucking all Rihanna them, was dressed as the Pope? Yeah, I saw that. I saw pictures. Okay, of it. How I much mean, do you think those outfits are? That's, all that's, of them. That's I don't like all of them. I don't like and them. And that's either. not even their wedding. But but aren't, aren't their taxpayer dollars going towards some of that stuff? It's just no, bullshit. They're no, they're rich. So no, they, they, they just, the, the, yeah, the royal but, family just okay, paid the royal for all of this. Shit. The, ro- the royal family so, paid two hundred and thirty-three million dollars. Let's just sum it for up. That wedding. Royals are full yeah. of shit. Even the people in America that overspend and buy all kind of shit, they're full of shit. It comes from a lot of people, people full of shit. It mm-hmm. goes back. Even the people on Savages fuck. I don't know you like that, but there's probably times where you're like, ah, I'm full no, of shit I'm full, today. Yeah, no, I'm full of shit sometimes. I've been so well, full of shit sometimes. I try to keep it real, but like on low on a low stakes level. Like yeah, I just try, I, everybody's full of shit. I know I'm, that. Speaking of full of shit, should we take a bathroom break? I, I think it should be <laughs> shit. It's well, I encourage be. people to watch The Crown on Netflix because it's really oh god. good. Oh god! Oh <laughs> god! And I just watched oh the god. documentary. That's on my big HBO. Sean. Oh god! What's it called? What's uh, HBO doc? Diana, our mother. Oh yeah, yeah. I it's from the son's that. point of view. Okay. So. I recommend everyone watch Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want history of, of royalty, royalty, Game of Thrones. That's all all Game kinds of, of queens in that shit. Mm-hmm. Either that or go back old school, New Jack City. You know when I my my uh, I love this Game of Thrones story. Like the way I found Game of Thrones was just like a Saturday afternoon one day, first season pilot. And I, I knew nothing about the show, so I literally thought I was just I was watching some HBO period piece, like oh my God. the Tudors or something. Right? And what about the dragons? And then, no, so Even then the they get they get to the part, and and somebody said uh, dragon eggs, and I literally sat up on my couch and was like dragon eggs. <laughs> 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 dragon I, eggs I, I hit pause info. I was like, the fuck am I watching? I was like, holy shit. 
They got you dragons. I would, if I had a dragon, man, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I'd be doing you want a people lot to watch your shit? You bring a I motherfucking dragon. dragon. What would be dog? your dragon's name? My dragon would be, be like Skippy. I like Skippy. <laughs> <laughs> I just be like, Benji. and they'd be like, I, I, man, you keep fucking with me. I'm going to call Skippy. Well, call Skippy, motherfucker. <laughs> and then. <laughs> Oh, my. You know, I was like something stupid. I mean, I think that right now, honestly, when you talk about royals, it was funny how you talk about. I don't like none of them. I, I think Ama- people in America that act like royals, I think yeah. they're dicks. There, so, there are yeah, yeah. Our celebrities, like Ramon said, celebrities. our celebrities, are, celebrities are, are, are that are What's dicks too. Uh, Kim, Kim Kardashian, speaking not talented. Of, speaking of celebrity royals, did you guys hear that the Obamas got a yeah. Netflix deal? As they should. What? They should. They're- they're starting their production in 2019. Um, um, about awesome. what? What's it going to be about? They're going to have their own production company. Team, company. It's going to put stuff together. They'll put positive stuff together, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. yeah. At least they're trying to do something hopefully. positive <laughs> other than fucking yeah, like, a, a porn star named Stormy. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, at least they try to do something positive or try to put something out there positive. But the, what if all they finally just went hood as fuck? Like, yo, <laughs> it'd be, fun it, it'd be just, funny if he just did uh, like Apprentice, but just <laughs> like, you're hired. Yeah. He gave uh, you the job. You're hired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're, so you're hired. Like you're hired. Yeah. <laughs> or he you're, did all the Key uh, and Peele episodes. He did like yeah, the Key and Peele. He and did Peel. the Key and Peele. <laughs> but Obama got admitted. He, not only was he funny, I seen him. You know, when he does the roast, he was funny. He was cool as a motherfucker. So cool. I, 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 coolest I, I, president we've had. In, cool in and a smart, long and I time. hope he does something productive oh. with it. I obviously, so. obviously, I went, y'all went around for Jimmy Carter, the most righteous motherfucker y'all yeah. ever seen. Yeah, it was righteous. <laughs> he went, he sure. was just no, righteous. Jimmy, Jimmy like Carter he was came out of, he came out of like he was just nowhere. Righteous. Like he, he's like he was in retirement for so long, and then was like, "Nah, fuck this, Trump, dude. I gotta come out and start spot talking yeah. more." And like yeah. now he's all fucking public and shit. It's like, uh, yeah, Jimmy Carter, get the fuck out there and talk. To I, I'm telling you, I'm just nervous now because there's no like we haven't I haven't really seen any like front runners like hey, who's gonna take on Thanos? No, uh, right. Who's 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 gonna be no. the the, the well, candidate? Yeah. If, if you saw the movie, powerful. nobody, nobody. <laughs> um, he's not. The, hey. HBO is also they they're. Coming out with a series, um, like a mini series of, of the Obamas last year of his. Yeah, his, it came out yesterday, uh, two days ago. Oh, did it? Oh, mm-hmm. okay, cool. It started two days ago. I gotta, I gotta really? Catch up. Yeah, you it's called, it's called the last year. Last year. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Yo, I want to let everybody write this. Everybody, I want to make. Uh, we're gonna be taking a break soon. I want to let you know. Make sure you listen to um, Savage as Fuck. Uh, we're on Wednesdays. 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. Pacific Coast time. Make sure you listen to us on. Seven to nine. Seven to nine. Seven till nine. Wednesdays Wednesdays and Fridays. Wednesdays and Fridays. Make sure you download the app. Go to Dash and download the app. The Dash Comedy app is within the app, right? It's like the channel. It's like the channel within the app. It's the the channel within the app. So make sure you do that. Also, you can check us out on iTunes. That was my iTunes song. (laughs) Your WB Pro. You yeah, can check us out yeah, on yeah. iTunes and you can also make sure you download us and subscribe. Make sure you tell people to subscribe. Rate but we appreciate stars. you. This is savage as fuck. Hey, I want to let you, when we come back, I want to find out what some of the shit you're doing on comedy wise, what's going on with you right, and um, and find out if you know, if you ever killed a hooker, we got to find out what All the right. fuck's going on with you. Cause I mean, you got hooker killing hands. Hooker count. I'm saying if you never Damn, looked at my hands are soft. Your man, dance are, yeah, because hookers don't see it coming. You do it The blood's very moisturizing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the blood moisturizes it. <laughs> But nah, I never killed no hookers, man. I use hooker oil no on hookers. my hands. The fact that you had to go, nah, man, I ain't never killed no hookers. Nah, I just want to clarify that. Yeah, just gonna make sure that people listen to him. His mom be listening and shit, yo. His mom, his mom goes, his mom be listening and shit. Well, I can't, I can't really say that for myself. I don't, I don't know if I, I don't know if I have or not. But when I left, she didn't, I didn't, she wasn't moving. <laughs> hey, she, that's all I'm saying. That All is right. really dark. Well, there you go. Yeah. And that'll and take us right to break. That'll take us can, right to the break. And it'll bring people right back into the show. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I want to find out if you killed <laughs> After they eat these donuts. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, Savage as Fuck. I'm Black Pedro. Your boy Shang's here. Ramon Rivas, we're coming right back. Ramon. The best man to be with. Like you said, I mean it. I love this. Wow. Yo, ah, we are back from the break. This is Shang. And I got in the building. That was my my Bill Cosby. My mic's not on. There we go. There you go. Yeah, my mic my mic ain't <laughs> Let's nice. Get all these mics Ooh. on. Uh, uh, this is Black Pedro here. You can Black follow me Pedro. on Instagram at Black Pedro, y'all at Black Pedro. And follow me on Instagram and also on Twitter, comedian S H A N G Shang. And we got Ramon in the house. What is your Twitter? Uh, Blazer Ramon. Blazer Ramon. That's <laughs> very cool. I want That's you to know sweet. that. And 
Uh, at Jeff Urea, it's U R R E A. So I spelled my last name. There oh. you go. And at Twinkie. At Twinkie. At Twinkie. I, like, I love that now. At first, I was like, what the fuck does that mean? And now I'm like, I get it now. I get it now. Now I know. Hey, guy, anybody want to update in my life? What's an update? What's your update? I got a little update for you, man. You have a thousand. (laughs) Yeah, what's the update? You have a thousand followers on Instagram. (laughs) No, no, I did. I'll have you know, I have one thousand and ten now. Thank you, (laughs) thank you. You're you're on last week's shit, girl. Catch up. Dang Entertainment was number one thousand. Oh yeah, oh thank you, and we appreciated it. Yes, we appreciate it. What's the update? So Friday, I went to uh, this past Friday. I went to the the doctor. Uh, You're for pregnant the, for the very first time in nineteen in years. Eighteen years. Eight years. I thought it was what? I was close. <laughs> Eighteen. Like seriously, I've not been to the doctor since I was twenty three. I was like, oh, I'm maybe I should go to the doctor. I turned yeah. I turned forty last year. I was like, it, it might be be, be that time. Mm-hmm. Um, luckily, Grace got everything. Everything's perfect. But and not in, not to get into that hacky world of oh, but. I wasn't ready for butt lit. Like it was butt day. <laughs> you know, like he, right. he uh. did that. He did that. And it, it's just weird. And I didn't think about it. I didn't expect it to happen that day. But also, you got to understand, like, I've just met this man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, and I, I assume that when it he happens for most even men. Ask you about how your day was. It, like, there's, we like, have yeah. no rapport, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, there was some, he had good Don't bedside manner. Don't you want to keep it business? It, but long it, as he didn't but, but like push I, I gotta, you down I guess, and do no, no, it. no. But I just, I just imagine that for mo- no, but for most guys, you, you've got, you've probably known your doctor for. <laughs> I've known for a long time. I, I just imagine that it was the AC that kicked in right in that moment. <laughs> I didn't want to think <laughs> that it was him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but you know, like you, you've got to. I, I figured you've known your doctor for maybe five, six years or something. Maybe you're, you're like, maybe. hey, can but we? Have can we have, can, Maybe can we do this on the third or fourth appointment? I'm not this kind of patient. <laughs> I was like, is I'm it, not that kind of girl. Is it butt day a separate day? Like, no, you it's, can't, the, it's the it's it's all encompassing. Well, he maybe he thought that you weren't going to come back in another. That also years. means you got. Good insurance and you might because usually they'd be like, yeah. I'll just come back for that later. <laughs> no, no, but yeah. butt day is part of it, yeah. Oh man, but, I didn't know you. Yeah. So it was hashtag butt day, and especially it was, when you're 40. Like, I think that's the what you go back for, and and it was, yeah, that's uh, all. Like, this is basically the rest of my life now is just that. And, uh, but uh, it's butt days, but he, but why are you pointing because people he, can't see that it's he's not pointing even, yeah, very, very but, pointedly. And the finger, it's because he did the finger, and it's not the, the go, it we'll wasn't the going in, like, the going in obviously was uncomfortable, but. Do- doctors, if you are out there listening, man, I, I think you need to check the the the, the reverse velocity because this motherfucker backed out way too quick. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Can I was you like hell no, stuff? like oh, that no. shit was hot. I was like, hold on, man, that shit set everything on fire. I was like, bro, but like back out slow. Yeah, which is not something I want. I don't know to say to another wow. man. Wow, yeah, but wow. I, I swear to God, like it was just hey, too man, much. Hey man, up my asshole. <laughs> yeah, like, that was it. It, it was quick. It, it but was, day wasn't a good day for you. It was it, only in that the news was all clear. You yeah, know what I'm saying? but like, that you're very lucky that you. I've had I, just, I wasn't. You had butt months. Yeah. And wow. I, and now I realize I, that I didn't how, even know that was that women have been going. Yeah, women have been going through shit way. We got in general with the medical industry. I think we got to find a better way to do internal medicine than than fingers and holes. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's got to be some some scan or some shit at this point because because now i realize that ladies because i tried to put it out on the social media and every woman i know was like welcome to our world yeah, it's true. <laughs> fuck that's your so asshole true. <laughs> and i wow. realized that yeah they they put you guys up every month in the thing and then they did and then there's like well, a, a crowbar hole. that's a different hole yeah but it's still it's it's a hole and it's yeah, being yeah. i'm like they it's can't, still there's holes. no it's other way hole. there's, there's no, no this other way holes. there's no other way but the fact that you you know you you dealt with it you got through butt day i did I, and and i'm willing to talk to you, I've had you're butt okay. surgery. I'm You've had butt surgery. Wow. wow. You okay. took it to another level. That's because her butt intestine. night was... Yeah. That, that sounds like a porn, like, you know, Brett Starr, <laughs> butt surgeon. <laughs> butt surgeon. <laughs> Nothing like a good butt exam to get the day going, baby. <laughs> he, he never withdraws too fast. Oh, wow. Ooh, he never <laughs> he never withdraws too fast. It's always perfect. He knows the right speed to pull out. Yeah, yeah, man. I've, I've had that done many times. And uh, not, I mean, even when I wasn't at, you know, just fucking at the mall. Wow. Uh, like, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course I didn't have it at the mall. Sir, no, this no, is no, a, no, I haven't had my butt checked in the mall. It's a fidget spinner kiosk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, I, everybody no, should get their butt checked. Everybody, no, I, I, I got my colon and my prostate checked, and I was very... Yeah, that's what your butt is. Yes, I loved it. I loved it. You know what I loved about it? All clear. Yeah. That's what I like about it. Mm-hmm. I don't like the, the, the procedure, but the 
at the end where they told me I'm all clear, I'm good. That's why it's a relief. So I can take a little bit of butt uncomfortability yeah, I to it, find man. out that I don't have, you know, like herpy cancer suplex. And I, and I'm not I'm not advising anybody. I don't know. <laughs> Herpes, what do you say? Herpes cancer, cancer. suplex, <laughs> yes. which is Which's a wrestling movie. <laughs> yeah. you, an STD. It's a new herpes, take like, that cancer, <laughs> suplex is real. Yeah. Herpes, Listen here, brother, I'm going to give you a herpes suplex. <laughs> I'm going to give you a herpes suplex. You'll never be the same. You better oh not God. pull out fast. If you pull out fast, brother, I swear to God, I'm going to slam you down to the depths of hell. But I, I, I I've, I I've had, because uh, I've had surgeries and I've had, uh, uh, I've been in the hospital a lot. And I've had been sick. Oh, I got real sick off of medication. So when I find out that my age, that I'm healthy, I'm just very happy. And I just found out I'm healthy. My blood pressure's coming down. I'm losing weight. Not enough yet to be on camera. No, I fall out a little bit, but I mean, I'm I'm Stay losing weight. It. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually doing pretty well. That's so. it. You look good, by the way, dude. You look really you look good. good. I, I look for good for a 950. You don't really look like The Rock. Uh, no, In not at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just I, joking. No, I, I, um, <laughs> I mean, no, I cut all, look, no, I cut all my hair off. I cut it uh -oh. off. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I cut it all off. Woo. So it's all gone. Yeah, so now you look nothing like No, the my fro. Uh, my Watch fro. young boys. <laughs> no, I, but uh, no, I think that, uh, you know, the fact that you went after all that time and there was... You were good, yeah. Because uh, it could have been not, really yeah, bad. I, I'm not advising that anybody do it this. It could have been really I, bad. I, I will be going, you know, every year. I'm going back in six months because I, I am a little vitamin D deficient. <laughs> we live in a sunshine state, but you, you can't just even, drink milk. Everyone's, vit yeah. everyone's I, vitamin D. Everybody is. Yeah. Everyone yeah, is yeah, vitamin so. D. Deficient. Just drink milk. <laughs> you know, you know, you know who's pushing that? The vitamin D lobby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the you, are you vitamin D? This pale guy over here. Uh, guy? Are you are you pushing vitamin D? Are you are you, are you do you have your vitamin D? I I need more D in my life. I, like I, need, <laughs> I don't see I don't, see I don't need more D in my life. I need more P in my life. I don't need his I don't need any D. Apparently he just had uh, a finger in his ass, so that's a little different. Vitamin D was my nickname in high school. So yeah, so ladies, I'm vitamin the ladies ladies vitamin D's in the me. building. Holla me. Uh, oh my God. How do we get to that? Listen, Ramon. You know what? We just lost track again. That's what sometimes the show does. Yeah, I, I mean, man. that's fine. I mean, sometimes we free flow. We, I mean, because I, I know they probably got a lot of you listen to a lot of different podcasts, and you got Joe Rogan, who I think has a great podcast. And you know, sometimes yeah. I've seen him go off and be weird and say some weird shit, which is great. I love that. And uh, we just talked about Pedro's butthole. So yeah. I, I mean, feel I feel like this show has been complete. For, but for the sake I of men's to, health, for men's health, yes, it's good to get your butthole check. And that's to everybody out there, get your butthole check. I know you're not supposed to say it that way, and don't wait 18 years. No, yeah, do not wait 18 years to get your butthole check. Well, wait, now, wait at least 18 years, and yeah, then then. And then. <laughs> I mean, I, you were, make sure make sure you're old enough that if you like it. If you like it, then, <laughs> doctor, when am I going to see you again? <laughs> yeah, you didn't call me last night, doctor. I was just checking your prostate, man. Checking Listen, you know what you was doing, bitch. Checking you were checking more than that. You were checking me. You didn't need a yeah. second finger. <laughs> you didn't need a second finger. Yeah, you know, you know. And you know, listen, I need a second how emotionally opinion. attached you to get to him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where you where you going? <laughs> yeah, where are you going? Like, okay, so what was the reach around there? Oh, so you just gonna yeah, he was out the room. He was out the room quick. Leave. He oh, get out yeah. the room quick. Like, and I I'm standing there with my, uh, um, but you know, this, that's, I was about to give you way too much info. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, man. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, uh, uh, watch the documentary inside the uh, Black Pedro's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> The documentary be coming out. It's a two-part series. It's after Obama's show. It, it, it'll be Obama then Pedro's black hole. Yeah, actually, yeah, my asshole just got picked up by Obama's new uh, production, oh, production nice. company. We got. You know what? Uh, I'm proud of you. Congratulations. We got a first uh, first look deal. First <laughs> first knuckle. Well, uh, yeah, it took 18 years, but we got it done. Three knuckle Productions. That's the name of my company. Ew. Oh, oh, now you made it worse. Oh, oh now Listen, I made Ramon, it worse. Yeah, oh, well, you, but you already did. Ramon, like, even you said the expression on your face, like, wow, this Ramon's show head, is... Ramon's head was fully down. Yeah, yeah, like, he was just okay. like, I'm sad. I was going to ask you, man, you did something fantastic this year. You went to the South by Southwest Comedy Festival yeah. and got to perform. I would love to do stuff like that. I've only done a couple of... I've done some big festivals. Yeah. I, I've been blessed, but those are the, the hip ones. Yeah. But you're kind of a, a hipster comic. I don't know. I don't like that's what gets put on me a lot. Like, you're a I, hipster. You're a I, you're a, a swinging swinging joke teller. Yeah, I mean, I like slinging so jokes. I, I'm from Cleveland, and we have the improv, which you've done. I like, just yeah, I did a month urban ago. Room. Yeah, we have hilarities, which is a mostly like middle upper white class. Very room. very snooty. I've done uh, that one too. I've I, uh, I would run a lot of my own independent shows, just bar shows. You know what I'm saying? Nothing inherently great, but that's the alt indie rooms. 
So I would do all. I'm able to do all of them. Right. Does that make sense? Right. So uh, a hipster alternative comic, but just like because I can function in all these places. Right. Because sometimes you, a club comic go to an alt room and the alt room comic or audiences will just kind of stare was, at them. I was surprised. I did an alt room, a couple of alt rooms. I used to do uh, Beth Lapidus's room and. Um, I used to do a lot of uh, alt rooms just to show them I could do an alt room. Yeah, like, and I would rooms, do it and then kill and them and be no. like, "Yeah, you little alternative bitches." Then I would leave. Yeah, <laughs> and it's funny because like a lot of yeah. those rooms sprang up as a you know all the comic clubs don't work us or they don't pay us well blah, blah blah. And like most of the alternative rooms don't pay either. Yeah. So it's like y'all are exactly the same. As yeah, clubs. you're the same. But I just it's just stage time. Like wherever I can get up and touch a mic is where I'm gonna go. But so if that's a you bar, if that's a whatever, you, I'm you're do doing it. well. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? I uh, think I, the perception I have of you. Is that you're doing fantastic? You're doing big things. I'm you're try, on, I you're try on to. You're fuck. doing fantastic. I, try, I hope you're, you're on Savage as fuck. So right there, yeah, you I'm, made I'm it. making you those made moves. It. There's at least twelve um, people listening to you right now. Yeah, yeah that's get your, them dozen. That, that's your helicopter outside. Yeah. That's all. Man, that. I mean, I saw you little you pulled um, up in your bins. I uh, yeah, I'm doing I'm doing okay. Like I just I call it the um, I I'm always just gently hustling. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm never doing anything like huge, <laughs> like that. but like I just keep my head down no, and do the work and just kind of put myself in positions like foolishly invest in myself and just do dumb shit that like because i don't have a job because i don't have like you know a relationship or any of that type of shit i can do dumb things like when i got south by southwest and they offered me like one performance for one night and one travel day right. i was like oh well can i get a pass to stay longer can i do more sets can i and i emailed and reached out and i wound up staying the whole 10 days Excellent. And, Which yeah, isn't I'm, something I'm so most people would do. I'm so mad that I missed you this year. Because usually yeah. it's me walking around alone. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But you know but what? Next year. But, but, I mean, uh, you're, yeah. you're doing it, man. I mean, uh, comedy's it, hard. I've been doing the comedy now 20, 28 years. Yeah. And I've been lucky and I've, you know, I'm still working and I still pay my bills with jokes, but... I'm telling you, man. Uh, doing some of the things you're doing is uh, that's some good shit. Thanks, man. man. Yeah, and, and and you're funny. If you weren't funny, I'd be like, "Fuck you, doing that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and tell us a little so bit. And tell us a little bit more about your uh, your Cleveland comedy fest. Like, yeah, it's like, called Accidental wow. Comedy Fest. The Cleveland Acc Comedy Fest. Yeah, Acc 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 Accidental, Accidental Comedy, comedy Fest. There we go. Uh, I started doing that just because, like I said, I was running a lot of my own shows. Um, you were running hoes. I was what? running a lot of hoes. Um, uh, it did too. sound like he's running um, hoes. But I, I had a lot of my own like independent that. shows, and then I did a comedy stage at a music festival, and then the next year I was doing that, and I had a couple other shows leading up to it that same week. And I was like, oh, fulfilling these gaps, that's a that's accidentally a, festival. a festival. And I've been doing it on purpose ever since. How um, long have you been doing it? This will be the seventh Accidental year. Accidental on purpose. Yeah. now it's Seven the, years? Yeah, now it's on, on purpose. But I've gotten, like, hilarities. The comedy club hosts it. So Labor Day week from Wednesday through Sunday, I get to curate – the, the, a the comedy, like yeah. one yeah, of the but, best I mean, comedy is it clubs mostly local, local. No, I, I get a lot of a good mix. Like it winds up, I target like a couple headliners, and then like just kind of peers of uh, you know people I've That's met cool. in my travels, and then I have submissions open for the last like ten to twelve spots. I'm gonna um, submit. Yeah, I'm well, gonna submit. And God then and it. then it winds up, so it winds up being a nice mix. And like last year, Comedy Central sent reps out. Like it's just slowly been getting to be a thing where people right. like kind of pay attention to it. But it's really just like I started doing it because Cleveland already had a comedy festival, but I didn't like how it was run, and I didn't want to be like, "Hey, y'all are doing a weird job." So I just started doing my own thing, and uh, I just I love Cleveland. I couldn't afford to live in these other cities, and most people are like, "Cleveland, that sounds like a terrible place." But mm. when it was so fantastic I when I was I there, I take pride in bring, helping bring people to town and giving them an experience that changes their perspective on this. Right. City. It was. I I, I gotta admit. Um, I was there four days and it was awesome. Yeah, it's every a good, every, you, every night was fire. Every yeah. uh, they took me out to a couple of places and it was fantastic. Yeah, man, it's a good great hotel. Like, if you just, yeah, everything. if you just stay in the hotel and you don't go do anything, yeah, it's gonna be a shitty. It's city. gonna suck. If you go, if you go out, meet some people. If you go eat, like we have great culinary shit. Like we have a fantastic um, museum. We got a bunch of fun bars. Like. Nothing's rock, gonna blow you away, roll. but it's, yeah, the rock, rock and roll, roll Hall of Fame's there. And, like and, and the hoes there. No, I'm kidding. They stroll with they the best. They stroll with the best of them. Baby. Okay, so then this this, this segues perfectly disgusting. for I'm me. Sorry. You being a a Clevelander, mm -hmm. uh, this has been a big debate. Up, it's NBA playoff time. Uh oh, and a lot of uh -oh. Talk, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know if, if we got sports people in the building. But we got I, sports people I, in the building. I, I'm a sports you you know person. That you have sports Are you a sports person? Oh, of course. Turn it. Turn it. Flip it. Flip I'm it. six flip foot it. four. Remote. You're six foot four. I'm six foot four. I'm a tall. 
sports person. Yes, you I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start. Like I'm gonna start with Ramon specifically because because of his achievements over the past few playoffs and especially this year, there have been a lot of debates recently. Michael Jordan or LeBron James? LeBron Go. James all day. Fuck it. all time. Ramon Rivas. Let me hear that answer. Um, Native Clevelander, folks. That's this is what uh, we're gonna hear. Uh, I think by the time he retires, it will be LeBron. Okay. I say right now. Right now. You're allowed to have the conversation, mm-hmm. um, but well, thank you, sir. I appreciate like, that. Ring, like it's it's always going to be rings over everything. So it's like, I, I, I Jordan's dope, but I also Bill Russell's like way up there. I, for, I was going to say, so it's, it's like it depends. Like you yeah. you get like, and it's weird because nowadays there's a whole kind of generation of people who Michael Jordan is a meme before he's yeah, a basketball player to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. So what he doesn't he doesn't mean as much. To to, this and the, to to the people who are watching right. basketball right. now, uh, and LeBron redefined the style of player that's happening. So I I think LeBron changed the game a lot more. Jordan was more did more within it. Hmm. If that makes that sense. was a well, very know, good analysis. Although, although I, what my, did you think? My only slight disagreement though, the, like. Jordan Jordan changed the game a lot, mm-hmm. but more more around him and yeah. his talent, right? So you had like the Jordan right. rules, and like I I grew up in Detroit, so I was a Bad Boys Pistons fan. So I, yeah. I I still hate Michael Jordan to this day because he used to complain about how rough the Pistons were, and I'm like, yeah. motherfucker, this is this is how this Pull should be. So they they, they, they kind of switched up the way the yeah. league was called for some years, just mm-hmm. around Jordan and the the idea of franchise talent. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and brand, right. and branding, you know, Jordan. Solidify branding as as a as an NBA. Sorry about yeah. that too. I do thing. I do also feel like Le, like where Jordan was a notoriously terrible teammate to have. I feel like LeBron is kind of maybe in the same breath, like where he's he's fun, but I also feel like LeBron's the type of dude. If you worked in the office with him, he would be nice to your face, but go to the HR department <laughs> and about talk, you. And holler about you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And like use the use the administration to get what he needs from you, from you and smile uh, on your face and smile to your face and like you're good when you're on his good side but when you're not he's just very ex- demanding of you and then Kyrie found out uh from hr that yeah. <laughs> he's like wait yeah. nigga, what mm-hmm. what do you mean clean out my desk i'm going yeah. it's I'm just gone. bullshit uh, i'm gonna tell you right now i'm gonna tell you who, but lebron's done so much LeBron. more with than what i mean jordan had one of the best players on at Tandem, his side yeah. right uh, his yeah. Yeah. lebron's n- never had any no, except what, with the pippen. heat he had pippen except and he had rodman heat. yeah and whereas in lebron got who right now nobody so lebron by during force the heat, of will the heat years, he, he is the best he's he's Ky- the Ky- best Kyrie was his dude Kyrie I mean, was in, Kyrie in was of, in terms of a talent was. That, i mean they got one together but mm-hmm. yeah like Okay, was, but I'm saying right now I'd have to go with LeBron. I understand what people say about Jordan. Jordan was the best. They got more rings and all mm-hmm. that other stuff. But LeBron, like you said, he changed the way you look at the game. Yeah. And also just physicality-wise, I mean, him and Jordan, there's no comparison. LeBron's a fucking beast. And LeBron doesn't He's, have a gambling problem. He doesn't have a gambling problem. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 LeBron, yeah. and LeBron. And he doesn't have a dad to get murdered. I'm sorry. And, and, yeah, wow. <laughs> And, wow. and, and, and LeBron's never wow. cut, and LeBron's never shaped his facial hair into a Hitler mustache. Mm-hmm. That mean, is true you know too. I mean? And so, done Haynes commercials with a Hitler mustache. Yeah, so I think you know that wow, y'all just going there. And LeBron <laughs> never stuck his finger in the baby's butt. No. I mean, yeah, hey, just, <laughs> Michael Jordan did slap a little white boy in the butt uh, in that be like Mike commercial back yes, in the day. So, he, so, he did some pity pat mm, on the butt. So I didn't know we that. were comparing Hide that. Your kids. I didn't, it, Hide your kids. Uh, okay, I okay. Didn't know so that, listen, I say LeBron. I say LeBron by far. Right now, especially like you said, people don't realize how great Jordan was because he's a he's a crying meme. Mm-hmm. Every like he's a cry. <laughs> no, he is right now. That's up to, to somebody twenty. That's like yeah. ain't that the dude just crying all the time? I remember and, the but, clip uh, where, the, where the kid he was at like an assembly and some kids stood up. He's like yes, and he was like what are those? And he like clown Jordan's Jordans. <laughs> yeah. The so, uh, and, but, the other thing is jo- Jordan kind of rose to prominence like being good in college like. I'm the same age as LeBron, and LeBron has been on in the national you spotlight since he was years, a freshman. Yeah, yeah. Fifteen years. Though. Since yeah. he was a f- freshman in high school. Oh yeah, he yeah, was yeah, in yeah. a and national spotlight. He scored in a way, points. Yeah, he scored in a hundred points well, in one game. Yeah, Boom. LeBron. That's what got him the national spotlight. Hundred. He scored a hundred points in a high school basketball game. Mm. One hundred points. Yeah, you no. Know, turn the shit around when you talking. What was it? Notre Sorry. Dame High School. That right? damn it, man. Uh, St. Vincent St. Yeah. Mary. So yeah, no. Bad. Yeah. So I, I, okay. No. But we gonna we go around the table. She's like, I'm not even involved in this part of it. This is bullshit. 
Got it. Yeah. So who do you think, uh, would you say LeBron or uh, Jordan? Space Jam all day, baby. Jordan. Okay, Jordan. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Space Jam. Very good movie. The, 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 the plot Classic. was Classic. amazing. All right. Are you not going to ask uh, me? I go. Uh, uh, we're going to ask you. If right, you, now, you right now, I say they are even nope. with a slight tilt toward Jordan, but I think LeBron will have it. LeBron? Okay, game. who do you say? I agree exactly with what Ramon Rivas just said. Wow, that was... Uh, <laughs> I, I agree She's with you. She's a lawyer, you, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, right. a, and that then, was a very right. lawyer thing to say. Uh, and, you say and you say LeBron or you Black, say Jordan? Black Pedro here. Follow me on Instagram at Black Pedro. Guys, my vote is bad boys, Detroit, basketball. <laughs> I hate Michael Jordan. That being said, great player, but LeBron it's just a different breed of mm-hmm. athlete. Here, here's, my, here's my argument, right? We, we've seen Kobe Bryant. Right, we've seen Dwayne Wade guys who similar like pattern their game after Dwayne. Kobe's the best example to me. Where at the end of the day, what what, what really is the difference between a, a, a Jordan and a Kobe? Other than Kobe patterned himself after Jordan, but you, right. you're going to see that again, right? We're, we're probably in our lifetime not going to see another body type like Shaquille O'Neal do what he did, right? Right. LeBron does. LeBron. Said, LeBron. LeBron. Like you got guys like Giannis Antetokounmpo, who his you know his body type and some of the things he does. Anthony Davis, uh, Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid. Like guys are getting bigger and more athletic. But at and this LeBron stage, LeBron enabled them. Yeah, and and, and but right. at this stage, none of them can do everything that LeBron does. Mm-hmm. Right? Nobody's got the three point, the mid range, yeah. the dribble off the ball, the strength, the dunk, and and the, the assist, dunk. And, the dunk. And, and and the assist and, mentality. And, and as well, you know who so. else? I, I'd say uh, if Most, you really want to talk about it. I mean, like his outside game, his skills. I got to go with Gerard Carmichael. <laughs> I mean, if you're talking about <laughs> basketball so and oh, skills, um, his, now his game's slow, uh, but uh, it, builds. It, it builds. builds. it builds, and then all of a sudden it's a crescendo, and then bam, you're in LeBron, the finals. LeBron James, most points in the playoffs, most field goals made in the playoffs. Um, Which he just passed Kareem Abdul Jabbar. And night. I heard he's going to be part of the Jamaican bobsled team. <laughs> that <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> is doing everything. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully. Uh, hopefully. Uh, hopefully. Because we want to bring it back to Jamaica, don't we? Mm-hmm. Um, no, like, I, I, I think that um, when people talk shit and in the barbershops about it, like, the old school cats is always like, hey, man, you need to get the fuck out of here with that LeBron shit. I'm going to tell you who it is right now, motherfucker. Look at me looking at you, nigga. It is, <laughs> and it always has been, Jordan, okay? <laughs> Ain't nobody killed nobody over no goddamn LeBrons, okay? <laughs> Ain't nobody, but I've killed many a nigga over some Jordans. I, I just want to be the one dude in the barbershop that's like, Larry Bird was a bad motherfucker. Oh, there we go. There we go. Get the motherfucker out of here. Get the motherfucker out of here. Did this black Pedro motherfucker actually say? I'm just saying, the white boy used to hoop with janitors in Indiana. I'm just saying. Did you say Larry Bird? I'm saying. No, man. I'm going to tell you right now. French Lick's finest. And I'm not a huge basketball fan, but LeBron made me start watching basketball more. I was, I'm not a huge basketball fan. I've always been a, I'm not a football fan. I've always been boxing and UFC. And MMA, and uh, you know, I don't think LeBron could take some of the people. I, I'm like, you know, I think Cormier would beat LeBron's ass. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, you, you're cross training them. <laughs> if they both got in the ring in the octagon, I think LeBron probably wouldn't have a chance. Shane watches the sports where you could be like, "Football's for pussies." <laughs> <laughs> well, I look at you with your pads on, man. Come on, man. Let's see if What's I can put your eye on for you, son of a bitch. No, I, yeah, I'm just telling you, football. Like, no, football's hardcore, but man, I think UFC and MMA, man, you got to really be one. You got to be a, a supreme athlete. You cannot go in there half ass. And secondly, with UFC and also with boxing, if you look at Floyd Mayweather, people can say whatever the fuck they want about Floyd. The bottom line is he, Floyd did damage. Dam- I mean, he, he, he also changed. didn't have anyone to run against. No, like, yeah, he did. It's, not, so, well, like, it's not like the, the Pacquiao, Hagler, Pacquiao Leonard, Pacquiao like happened too, like, Pacquiao happened Pacquiao, too late. It happened too late. Pacquiao but, did. But he did he fight people at their top. <laughs> he did fight people at their top. <laughs> why you running? He didn't run. He, I, you know he avoided it for a number of years. <laughs> no, he didn't. He, you know why he did that? I'm going to tell you stuff. I need to he shut to all make this the, shit he down. Made, he made Shame the money. He made I'm going to shut this shit down. He wanted he to make more money. waited until he was a few years past where yes. like. Nope. No, nope. you, you ever go to a Boxing grocery store expert. and there's like a stamp on a thing that's like, oh, why is these sausages so 98 cents today? Yeah. Oh, because well, they expire tomorrow. Today. Okay. That's but, how he set okay, up the fight. No, the that is not true. I, he's even said it. And boxing experts all said it. All of them said it. 
even if he had fought Pacquiao at his peak because of Floyd Mayweather's defense, because Pacquiao always fight people, he go forward, forward, forward. No defense, never no defense. He was getting constantly get tagged. That's why Juan Marquez knocked that motherfucker into next week. Oh, I mean, it, Floyd, Floyd would have beat him, especially Floyd pre hand operations oh, yeah. he would have flattened supreme escape artist escape artist right, he, so what you call running you he calls you know what i'm gonna look good after the fight and get my 300 million dollars all right all you people fighting with your face forward are fucking stupid <laughs> with your chin face, out say with your chin out with your face forward and looking like you looking like a muffin after the fight mm. and he looking like yeah I'm, I'm a little sweaty going to the club I think, that, who? I think Floyd Mayweather is the Kanye West of boxing. Oh, Lord. He's oh, great. my God. He's great at what he does. Doesn't mean I freaking like the guy, though. So you don't like his personality? What like the fuck's wrong with you, man? They both he, read at the same level. Floyd asked too. if I wanted to take a picture one time at this party, and I said, no, thanks. I was oh, like, wow. I went, I, I just did this. Well, <laughs> you know what? Floyd, to me, I love the fact Floyd. Floyd is smart. He makes people dislike him, like you. I don't dislike him. People dislike him, but then you end up buying his pay-per-view to see him get his ass kicked. Guess who did that before? Muhammad Ali. Muhammad. Muhammad Ali used to make... He said more people are showing up. Is this a barbershop? I know. (laughs) Are we in a barbershop right now? More people... people, (laughs) If he wanted to change his name to Ali... I mean, but I'm just... You did it better than... Was that the voice? You should respect his visions. His vision and his... I'm telling you right now, uh, Muhammad Ali used to make people hate him, and guess what happened? More people watched it, might be more famous. He used to money, talk money, mad money, shit, money. calling people gorillas and shit. He'd do that He's for sort some of a, purpose. a dark hero, you might say. Anyway, you- yes, oh, a dark hero. Circle back, That's called a circle back. <laughs> yeah. Call back. It's a dark ba- Call back. Uh, yeah, I, I like I like dark heroes. I like Apparently. like. I want I I like like Suicide Squad wasn't a good movie, but I no. like the it was not a good movie, but I like. I like, like characters. What about those Hellboy? Characters, yeah. I like Hellboy? dark. I, I like Hellboy. I like Sin people. City. You know what I love? I like that. Have you yeah. guys, wow, good choices. Have you guys seen the I art know. piece with uh, where Thanos uh, is in the in the Biggie Coogee sweater? No. <laughs> oh no! Oh, yes, no, I did. Yes, I did. No, so it's funny. Thanos. He's got on the Coogee. He's checking his flip phone, yes. and he's got the gauntlet on, and it's shining on. That's oh, funny. Uh, it's hilarious. No, no. You have to send me that shit. No. I wanted to ask you, what do you got coming? Um, we even know the show's not over because I'm really interested in uh, that. What do you got coming up? Uh, it's, it's almost I, over, so I want to make sure I get that. In I got here, a you little. Got I got a little bit of touring going on. See, um, I want just like a little. Like I'm going. Road. I'm shit. I'm going out with uh, my buddy Jermaine Fowler. We'll be at the Tempe Improv. I know the, Jermaine. End of June. Uh, I'll be. I headline one night at the Punchline San Francisco in July. That I'm featuring the rest of the weekend for Dan Soder. Uh, nice. Then I'm going to New York the last week of July. Doing a couple in like a little indie bunch of fr- free bar shows basically, uh, and then I go to uh, Scotland uh, for the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Are you going okay. to the Edinburgh? Uh, I've, doing... I've done the Kilkenny Festival and oh, it was no. fantastic in um, Ireland, but I've uh, never gone. I've never I've used done... my pass. I've never used. My, well, I used my passport last year to sneak up to Montreal. I didn't get invited, but uh, I got to open for my buddy, uh, and. Got to open for him twice, and then uh, Lil Ro let me pop up on one of his showcases nice. he put together, and I got written up by Pace Magazine as, like, one of the best acts they saw what? at the festival. I didn't know And this. it's like, I wasn't even supposed to be there. So I'm excited to go to Scotland and do this festival and, like, hopefully maybe It'll position go well. myself. You know, and I it, I bought my plane ticket. I, like, agreed to do it. I bought my plane ticket, got a round trip for, like, 550 and then I'm like, dope. And then I'm like, oh shit! Everything else is gonna cost so much more money because the euro is like a dollar yep. seventy five for every dollar. So like, I don't have the money to go <laughs> to be. But there. I'm just believing that I'll be fine. Uh, I also you are, live you by are that. Like, you that, are no, like no. an entrepreneur slash insane man. I love that. Yeah, that's, you know, like that's, 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 that's every comedian's financial yeah. fucking plan. I mean, yeah. like half of what we do is like, well, I hope they have money and not yeah, chicken like, when I get like, there. Yeah, it's right? like feast or it's very feast or famine. But it's like I. I'll, I'll, Do you I'm, have a manager? Been, no. The man has faith. I, I, had has a man, faith. I had a manager last year. Uh, what happened? Had, did year he, did just, he, we did just parted uh, ways in December. I, like okay. it just, you what? know, neither it didn't work really, out. Yeah, it just didn't work out. Like, you didn't tell me this. Yeah, I just <clears> yeah. So um, I, 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 I talk it, him up it, to everybody. What it made what yeah. it made me do is it, like when I move when a lot of people move to L.A. What happens is they see what's working and they move their comedy towards that. I was I was saved from that because I'm very secure in what I do comedically, but my work ethic did that. Where in Cleveland, I was very do it myself. I got like, I don't need nobody to do shit right. for me. That's, I came good. out, I got a manager. I'm like, oh, okay, they'll do shit. And then I they stopped. Do I stopped doing shit how I normally do right. it. 
and then like n- there wasn't the traction there normally is. Even right. though I did, even though I did shit while we were together, it's just weird. Yeah. Um, but I never figured out exactly what their what you, purpose is. Well, I mean, what would you say, Jeff? What would you say? That, no, the way you did that. What would you say? No, that's. I love his attitude. What would you say, comedy wise, for you? What is the push? Got it. Your mic, yeah, Mike. Your mic. Your mic sounds nice. This. Is he still doing this? Uh, uh, I right now my my push is uh, I have to start asking. I don't ask for stage time. You know, I, I get stage you get, time. He, I, he got people, the Laugh Factory saying, hey, man, call me for stage time. Okay. The fuck's wrong I with know. you, man? I, yeah, I man, really you just got to it's, it's all about, like, sending your avails out. Like, the, the way, as someone who's run and produced their own shows, the way I would book people is I would book people I like being around or think are funny. People I want to see more of. Mm-hmm. Uh, people who are around or people who emailed me. Mm-hmm. If you're not any of those things... How are you going to get on? How are you going to get on? Yeah. So exactly. you can't control if people think you're funny or if I, people want to like see more of you, but you can be around or you can reach out. Yeah. Those are the two things that well, are in control for everybody. You know what, though? I, I mean, I agree with that. But then also, you know, if you're in the comedy field, you should know who the motherfuckers are, too. Mm-hmm. You should know who's going to come in and do damage. Yeah. And I that's the thing that irritates me with a lot of bookers. It's like, how the fuck you don't know who David Tell is? How the fuck you don't know who Bill Burr mm-hmm. is? And those are very rare. Who doesn't? But like that's no, the, and no, that is I can, that's I'm about to tell you. No, that's not silly. I can I can start naming people that like I would mention people and they go, well, uh, um, how long have you been doing? Are they good? Like, yeah, and that's because a lot, said, of, people yes. who, a lot of people who bookers. are in a lot of people who are in positions what? of uh, yes. gatekeeping Bill or Burr. taste making, they didn't set out to be in comedy. They were Bingo. either right. but that was staff me at the club four years ago. or you know they worked at their now. agencies and wanted to be in some other field and then comedy had an opening, so they but, went into that. That's but, literally my story. But you yeah. said comedy wise, you gotta start pushing more, you gotta push more. I gotta push you're more. doing it you're doing it a good way because one you do when you do get in a position, once you get in that position, you're gonna be able to be calling shots because it's like, no, I do this, I do that, I've I've handled this. So even the next manager, if you get with the next manager, if you don't mm-hmm. need one, if you get with one, you're gonna be able to tell him, listen, we're not you're not managing me, we're co managing. Yeah. We're I'm your partner in it. So I mean I love the fact that you do it that way and you're not like waiting and you say, you know what, I'm gonna create my own festival. We'll talk. Fuck yeah, all y'all. We'll talk. I think that that's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. Thanks, man. You know, and yeah, that's kinda like that's why I started doing all the shit I did in Cleveland because like I sw- I would travel a little bit. I go to Chicago or I go to New York or whatever. And um I I would have a lot of fun in those cities, okay. but I nothing was inherently better about them than like nothing was happening there that couldn't happen in Cleveland. It was a bar and there were people right. or it was a coffee shop and there were people. So I started doing that in Cleveland because I couldn't afford to live in New York. I couldn't afford to live in Chicago. I couldn't afford to live in L.A. I don't mm-hmm. come from money. So I didn't have the safety net of, hey, mom, can I borrow? This, yeah. da, da, da. You mean the Amy Schumer? Yeah. Uh, I didn't have that. Did so I say that? Had I the, think I said that. I had, yeah. had to Did make my Amy own Schumer? opportunities, yeah. but through doing that, earned opportunities at the club. Because right. when I would, <clears throat> before that, I wasn't funny enough to be working at the club. Well, you I are as now. A, as a, yeah, as a person of color, I'm not allowed to be as mediocre as a lot of white people are. When they work. There you go. Yeah. Um, we got to wrap hey, yo. up. Yo, I got to tell you something. Uh, Shots uh, fired. Uh, we, <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> rah, rah. And then, look at the white booker listening. I was listening to it. You know what? Fuck, if you're ever get booked here. Good Lord. <laughs> Shit, they already don't Son of a me. bitch. With your Southwest fucking Son performance. Son of a bitch. Come on. Son of a bitch. Um, yo, uh, we're going to wrap up. I'm going to let you know again. Uh, make sure you listen to us Wednesdays and Fridays. Fridays 7, 7 to 9 p.m. Yes, uh, listen to Savage time. AF. Make sure you share it too. Go to the also go to the Facebook page yeah. and like it, like it, like it, like it. God damn it! Make yeah. sure you like it. Uh, before we go, Jeff, let them know your information. Hi guys, uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Jeff Urea. It's J E F F U R R E A, or uh, on Facebook is uh, comic slash Jeff. Sorry, Facebook.com yes, slash yeah. comic Jeff Urea. Got it. We go. Okay, go ahead. Uh, my social media is Blazer Ramon, B L A Z E R R A M O N. That's also my website. If you throw a dot com at the end, you can see videos I've done with Viceland, uh, my Comedy Central special, shit like that. It's all on my website. Bango. Ra. Uh, this is Black Pedro, guys. Follow me on Instagram at Black Pedro. And uh, basically, on the other shit, I'm, I'm Pedro is funny. So, Facebook.com slash Pedro is funny. Or on Twitter at Pedro is funny, and that's Twitter's for like the seventy year olds now. So if you're out there, go ahead and do it. Yeah. Twitter, so Twitter's for this. Wow. Yeah. I'm at Twinkie T W N K E E. 
On everything? On or everything. Dang Entertainment. Dang Entertainment, yeah. Dang. Uh, mine is Comedian Shang, S-H-A-N-G, Twitter. For the Twitter for the old people. That's what Twitter is. I didn't know Twitter was for seven year olds. That's the one with the, the fuck bird. does that mean? With the bird. Yeah, but um no, I'll be Twitter. Um, and also on Instagram, comedian Shang. My website is I am Shang. We do appreciate you listening to Savage as fuck. We are Thank you. in your debt when you listen to the show and in your debt when you share it. Make sure you listen to the podcast, yeah. which will be this show will be on Monday. Okay. This Monday on podcast, iTunes, Stitcher, Stiffer. Uh, Stanker. Balzer Stiffer. Stanker yeah. Slapper uh, Slapper Slapper Which is a whole different Sadomasochist kind of thing Make sure you different, come different And app. listen Totally different app <laughs> And download it on Dash Radio Thank you everybody We appreciate y'all We'll see you in a minute On Savage AF Alright <laughs>